If you're a sewing street or yarn lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Morning, good morning, good morning. There's so much going on, I can't do anything with my hair this morning. But you know what? We've got the gremlins in the system this morning. So at this moment in time, you can't watch on YouTube, you can't watch on the website, and you can't watch on Facebook, I'm afraid. Uh, they're on it, they're working on it now, so as soon as they are, I will let you know. I have to tell you also that uh, oh, I've got to have a moan about my doctors. I've got to tell you about how um, I've worked out how Harvey the cat's escaping. I know, he's, a, he's like an action man cat, I can't tell you. There were three things I had to tell you. Anyway, should we start with the early bird? Don't, now don't faint, it's huge. There you go, little Paul's in everyone. You can guess what he just said then, he's back. One ninety nine. You're saving. Oh, you're saving two pounds. So you're saving more than you're paying. It's a red friction pen. Is it? What weight is it? Medium. Medium weight. Medium. Not weight. Width. He's done. Oh, he's going to do some good shots for you now. Da da. Say this again. No messages to read for Facebook. Oh, can they still do the white messages across the bottom? Oh, that's all right. Then we'll get to that in a minute. And um, sadly, you can't watch on the web. Sadly, you can't watch on Facebook. We're sorting it. We're sorting it. We're sorting it. Promise. One pound ninety-nine pence. This is you're saving two pounds for a red friction pen. What's a friction pen? You're asking. What is it? Well, it's a pen that you can write with. I've only got Catherine's book under there, but not right on that. You can write on paper with it, and you've got a rubber on the end you can rub out. The rubber is caused by the friction, by the heat of it, but you can also mark on fabric, and then when you iron on it, it the, the, the mark disappears. However, please, please, please always test your fabric first. 
because some fabrics, especially the darker ones, it doesn't always disappear. So please check first. Uh, if you're in doubt, don't do it on the top of your fabric. You can use it as a marker for the back, but do remember as soon as it gets warm, it will disappear. Now, they say that the marks do come back in uh, Arctic temperatures, but there was one lady who messaged saying she took hers to a caravan in Scotland and all the marks came back. Uh, so, but it, it, they're, they're like Marmite, aren't they, Friction Pens? You either love them or you hate them. Most of you love them. And at this price, half price. I know they're only the red ones, the medium ones, right? You're, you're saving more than you're spending. And remember, once you paid your... I don't know what's happened, but my saliva glands are very overactive this morning. <laughs> I'm excited to see little Paul, exactly, that's what it is. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just excited to be here. Oh, I an awful day today. Lots of people multi-buying these. Congratulations if you got these. Um, anyway, I was, gonna, I was in the middle of saying something very profound then, but it's gone now. It's gone. Oh, yeah, it's like Marmite. You either love them or hate them, don't you? But most of you love them because you're multi-buying. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Fairly busy. Uh, I haven't got that tribal tattoo, no. No, I nearly went for one. I went for barbed wire with daisies on mine. One ninety nine. I know, it's weird. Not really want to talk to, isn't it? And not you, little Paul, not you. Uh, oh, we could talk about his... Um, he, oh, he's, had, he's been going through some traumas. We won't go into them now. But he's all right. He's well, he's well. Don't know to worry. He's all right. One ninety nine. Oh, Fifu. Have we got a Fifu? Go on then. Who oh, from? Who's he from? A friction pen. Not a lot to say. <laughs> Jim. He gave it five stars, so. Oh, and he spelt it wrong. Not friction, it's friccioni. Friccioni it is. Exactly. Two pounds you're saving on this. You're only paying one night time. Oh, I know what I was going to say. Once you bought this and you're on your P&P, that's your P&P done for the day. So if you come in and buy anything that Catherine's made or anything from Yarn Lane that Catherine's making, it's one P&P. What's the matter, Cat? I don't know. Why would you use red? You see, in the old traditional days, you never, ever tacked in red. Never, never tacked in red. That's what we were taught at Wimbledon School of Art. Um, why would red be good? Because it's shown white and yellow. <laughs> Why is a red one good? Okay, even Catherine doesn't know. The font of all knowledge. Why don't you tack in red? Because in the old days, the red dye didn't, wasn't fixed. If you then pressed it, it would then mark your dress. I thought you were asking about the red pen then. You like the red one. Oh, Catherine likes this one. I don't know why. I mean, I, for using pale fabrics, fine. Well, you see, we can do it in all different colours. Look, we haven't got them today, but they're all on the website. This is the only one that's one ninety nine today, and only until stocks last, or until or until we do tomorrow's. Oh, now, have we got remote people working on it? Little Paul's got his computers in front of him, and someone else is doing it from another office, so he's got things moving all over his screen. Keep checking out on this. Okay, now you know that the panel of the week sold out on the first day this week, don't you? So, today, I've got something very special for you. Now, I should really have announced this. But, guess what's back in stock? Only Alice and Marion's barbecue apron. Well, this one's a bit big for me. Oh, no, because you do it like this, don't you? You need one. Oh, now, yes. Oh, watch my apron. You do need... Oh, I quite like that. You do need one continuous piece of webbing, which we don't sell... So don't buy our webbing for this. But if you contact Alice and Marion, I believe she's got some. Well, there you go. If you go to 24th of May is when Alice and Marion uh, demoed it. Now, it comes on a panel. That's on, on, on ketchup. Very funny, Paul, on ketchup, he said. Uh, you can see how to make it. It was um, Rebecca Reed was on the show with Alice and Marion. Even look, the lettuce leaves. Are, look. Let us see the lettuce leaves. It was sold out. It sold out. And then loads of you made it for Father's Day. And then there was a thing on Facebook going, we need more, we need more, we need more. I told them, Ian's taking all the credit for doing it, but I told them, 
and they've got more for you. Now, obviously, when you buy it, it's a panel. You do need to buy some of this, some webbing, but it needs to be one continuous piece. And say that again. Oh, and you'll need to buy your cotton canvas yet, because when we did um, when we did it, it was opposite web. So the panel is on, that's, the panel's only got those on it. We haven't done it as a kit. Oh, you can also make rather than dad, you can also write. No, 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 but because not everyone's a dad. Like barbecue, barbecue. So you could put fab, bab. No, you could yeah, you could bab. You couldn't put fab. Where's the F come from? There's no F. Dad, bab. Anyway, anyway, it's dad or barbecue. Now, there's enough on the panel to be able to do this as well. Little Paul's apron. Little Paul's apron, look. So those are also on the panel. I can't show you the panel. It's not here. It's not here. Yeah, we just got it back in and we had to tell you about it. I don't know what I was looking over there. Uh, Paul says he's have to be a veggie burger. Well, it'll only be a veggie burger if he's at home. Or is that rule changed now? Oh, he doesn't eat meat at all anymore. He used to be a vegetarian at home, but not when he went out. But it's like he doesn't drink at home, but that changed. Because I saw him with his tiny little pipe pots like that. On. Oh, were they half pints? Uh, we used to have a security guard at Brown's Chester called Half Pint. Don't suppose you had to say that anymore, are you? Anyway, shall we go to the menu? Because I've got to get out of here. Caroline's... Uh, Caroline? Who's Caroline? Caroline's coming in to do a demonstration. Right, before I do anything, I've got to wipe the table down. Hang on. Right, so the menu is this. It's a twist table runner with Ka Caroline, Catherine Wright. Uh, it's lovely. Uh, here it is. Got a lovely twist on it, hasn't it, Paul? <laughs> Paul's not been in for a while. There you go. That's it folded in half. It's lovely, isn't it? So that's a lovely table runner in the first half from a book that I've never seen before, actually. Oh, it's brand new. That's why. That's why. Then uh, we've got quilting tools at nine o'clock. Now, Kat's been in charge that hour. And when they said put quite a bit in, Kat, she's put the whole of the flipping website in. It's so much in that hour, I can't tell you. So that's quilting tools at nine o'clock. Ten o'clock, we've got crazy patchwork bag with Catherine. Oh, it's lovely. This is one of our own designs. There it is. We've got it in three different colourways. Um, but we've also got the pattern on its own. So if you want to use up your stash or you've got your own fabric, you only need the four fat quarters plus your lining in that one and obviously all your, your furniture and everything. So that's that. Oh, there it is. Close up. Okay, then what we did. Oh, fabulous fabrics. Oh, got brand new fabrics at 11 o'clock. Brand new fabrics at 11 o'clock. Uh, three brand new collections. Now, one of them's very limited already. But I'll go through that with you in a second. Then at 12 o'clock, we all run down the road to the Yarn Lane Studios and we do summer crochet throughs with Catherine Wright. One. Two. That's the simplest one. That's the simplest one to do. The one we just showed you is the medium one to do. No. This, look, isn't that lovely? Uh, that is beautiful, isn't it? And that one's the most affordable, I'm being told now. Beautiful, isn't it? Right, if you want to get in touch, now this is where we have to change it a bit. So if you want to send an email, the emails are working, aren't they? Emails work, send an email, studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. We are not on Facebook as yet, Facebook Live. But as soon as we are, I shall let you know. So I've got an empty screen here, I can't even read any messages out. Uh, there you go, but you can go to the website shop at the web or you can ring the call centre don't need you don't need to ring them to tell them we're not on facebook youtube or on our internet now, and you can also go to the website www.sayingstreet.com you click on watch the show live oh which won't see anything no because that's all you'll see you can still send a message in though there the message can go there hang on cattle do a sales technique now no not working boo hoo Cat never works. Oh, look, there's a, we didn't show that picture, did we? Of the little apron there. Never mind. Uh, anyway, scroll down the page. You'll see the early bird. Oh, look, it's today's bestseller already. <laughs> right, OK, so now scroll down the page. See today's show deals. That is everything that we've shown so far. Um, so on the right-hand side is pre-order. That is everything that's coming up for the next four hours, not Yarn Lane. There's the brand new book. There's the three... Oh, there's the three bundles you can buy to do the... Um, to do the table runner in. There's the tools you might need to do that. 
Then we go on to, this is all cat squilting tools hour, and this will go on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. I told you, didn't I? I did warn you. I did warn you. It's still going. Still going. Oh, now, you see that lamp, the native lighting lamp? Not got it here on the desk. It's brilliant. It's brilliant, that is. Right, moving on. Go oh, that iron. Now, stop, 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 stop. That iron. We thought that was sold out the other day. There's a, there's a handful left if you want that. It's a lovely iron. It's a really lovely iron. Right, okay, carry on. Uh, Bozal is back in stock. And then we moved on to a different hour. Hurrah! Here's, and right, they are the three colourways that you can do Catherine's bag in. Flowers in the wind. Oh, hang on. Uh, Poppy and Riley Blake. That, now, they're the fat cords on their own. There's the faux leather straps on their own. There's the patterns. That's the pattern. Oh, you see, look at that in the different colours. If you've got your own fabric at home, we're not saying you have to buy our fabric. Buy the pattern and make it, make it a fabric of your own. Then on the right-hand side, there's the poppy, poppy craze, cotton crazy patchwork. Then we've got the Riley Blake and we've got the flowers in the wind. Then we've got the furniture or the hardware you need. Then we're moving on to... Oh, oh that's Fabulous Fabric. So there's one range, Candy Shoppy, ye oldie shoppy. Beautiful, isn't it? Then we've got Wine Night. Now look, this is, I love the True, true Kisses. Catherine's nodding her head. It's a beautiful range, that one. And we've got two extra ride backings down as well. And there's bundles of all of them. And that's today. And then also Yarn Lane is on pre-order as well. If you want to go to Yarn Lane, you can also start ordering those three lovely crocheted throws on the Yarn Lane website. Now, remember, if you buy something from me, your p and is paid for on Yarn Lane. Well, I feel like it's 12 o'clock already. It's very clear on pre-order on Yarn Lane what's what. Oh, there you go. There you go. Look, there you go. So you've got the three, one, two. That one with the dates is only 19.99. That's good, isn't it? It's lovely. Anyway, so there's everything from Yarn Lane. That'll be at 12 o'clock. Yeah, and those, the pictures, uh, whoever took the pictures took them on the grass. And when Paul came to take pictures of them in the studio this morning, they've got grass all over them. He's looking for the, he was looking for the vacuum cleaner to clean them off. I still can't get your messages, I'm afraid. Right, should we start? Should we start? Should we start? Brand new book. Let me just move that out of the way. Right, now look. Brand new book called Sew Home. Learn basics, what's it say? Learn design basics, techniques and fabrics and supplies. 30 modern projects turn a house into a home. Cat needs this then, doesn't she? She's got a new house. Oh, it's, she's there for four. It's 103 and four months old now, the house apparently. Right, so look, there's all your techniques. Everything you need to know. Three window treatments. Oh. Café Curtain. Oh. So you can't see out your window. Or people can't see in, but then, can you open it? Anyway, moving on. Inverted pleat valance. And you've got your cornice board. It's a pelmet. It's a pelmet, isn't it, a cornice board? Then you've got drapes. That's it. Then you've got Roman shades. I always call those Roman blinds. I wonder why they're called by Roman Oh, then move on to linens, customised sheets, fancy flange, bed skirts, duvet cover. Oh, shut the door to your blooming ensuite. Oh, no, it's not. It's a mirror. It's not a mirror. It's not an ensuite. It's a mirror. I thought it was, they'd left the I hate that. When you do that, when they do that Nicky Chapman escape to the country and they go, in the house there's a route and they go and there's a bedroom en suite and they open the door and the toilet seat's up and or the toilet roll's empty or something like that. You think, oh, come on, basics. Customised bath and hand towels, shower curtains, floral bath mat, quick and easy tablecloth. Hey, that's what we're making. There's more. There's loads in this book. Look, look. Uh, Colour block placemats, rolled hem napkins. Pineapple hot pad. Pi Paul's got pineapple hot pants. He thought it was the same thing. <laughs> so they've got very similar, about the same size. So laundry tote. Tassel storage bins with removable dividers. Oh, I say. Family organisational charts. That's not much fun because me and Paul, we'd only need one peg in ours, wouldn't we? 
Hanging off. I haven't finished yet. Look, all of these. They're incredible, aren't they? Then you've got walls, floor, and decor. You've got DIY rug. You've got a corded throw pillow. You've got your knife edge throw pillow. Ooh. You've got your art clock. Your pendant light shade. And then we've got outdoor sewing. Look, gusted cushion. Oh, that's nice. Nice, isn't it? Quilted by Jana Mars of Custom Quilts. We'll do that one day. Who said that? Julie's just sent a mission saying it's 18.99 on the Long River. Hey, it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be 18.99. I don't know what's gone wrong. That'll be Barry the what? Look, I don't even need to show the Long River. Look, look. Look. Barry the book buyer. Barry the book buyer. Have you not met Barry, poor little Paul? No. He's got about as much hair as you have. No, he's not going to be it, no. He, when he blushes, it, the whole of the back of the head goes pink. Cushion, pillow and accessory pocket for pre-made hammock. Barry, he's not Bazza. Waterproof patio art. My word, they've covered everything in this book. Oh, more. Sheer outdoor patio drapes. No, I think there's a mistake. That shouldn't be 9 99 should it? Loads of baskets, but you're not checking out. Come on. Brand new today. Brand new today. We haven't had it before. Brand new today. Can't see what I'm saying on Facebook. Got nobody there. Has Elliot not fixed it yet? I bet he's gone to, I bet he's gone to Greg's to get a coffee. Can I just tell you as well, that was one of my moans. So my one day off, right? One day off I've had, right? Eight minutes past six, my phone starts ringing. It was Elliot. And then he obviously realised that he was ringing me, so he put the phone down. So I then text Hannah saying, oh, is there a problem? Thinking, because I'd only get a call that morning if Wendy couldn't come in or something like that. It was Elliot wanting to know if I wanted a Starbucks. I haven't had a Starbucks for eight weeks, have I? Anyway, I was, oh, and then I couldn't get back to sleep then, could I? And then I got up and poor old Harvey had been so poorly in the dining room. I had to mop all of that up and everything. Right, I've got three bundles. You have to buy the book separately. Keep checking out, keep checking out. You can check out on the web, you just can't send me Facebook messages or watch on the web or anything like that. Right, here we go, so this is the first one. You get two and a half metres of fabric. This is the one you're going to see in today's demo. Now, uh, two and a half metres seems a lot of fabric. We should ask Catherine about that in a second. 29.99, this one. Moda fabrics, you get a metre, me this isn't Moda. This is Rose and Hubble. This is Moda, this is Moda. Metre, metre, half metre. $29.99. Okay. Lovely. Love those two fat. That's a bit metallic y, that one. Then we've got this one. So we've got uh, your meter. Right, meter and meter. And half a meter is your cream on this one. Is the half a meter for the, the little ba ba bent over bits? What's they called? Pleats. Folded Pleats. over. Pleats. So that's your pleats, these are your backing and your main fabric here. So a metre, metre, half a metre. Green farm text, it's a twist. I think that's my favourite. How much was that one? 23.99 that one. 23.99. And then finally, it's happening to me. Up, oh, this is the most popular on pre-order. Right, so you get 19.99, so you get a metre of this. I've not seen this fabric before. Where's this come from? So you get a metre of this, you get a metre of this, and you get a half a metre of the blue, so your pleats will be in the blue. Oh, there you go, there you go, well done, Paul. Very contemporary, isn't it? Yeah, well, you don't only need, well, I'm sure you don't need half a metre for that panel. You could do a fat quarter. If you've got a fat quarter of Liberty or some bright colour, you could put that in your stash and do a bright, what kind of, I'd do an orange. with. If I had this and this, right, I'd add a fat quarter of orange. That'd look nice, wouldn't it? Depends what colour your dining room is, I suppose. Isn't it? Anyway, moving on. 1999. 19 pounds. Uh, you'll can you smell burning? It oh, it's the iron. iron. It's the iron. It's, no, it's the iron. It's the iron. It's the iron, Sam. Right. That's uh, all we need today, isn't it? With <laughs> everything else that's going on. You need some iron on your facing. That's all you'll need. Three ninety nine. You might have your own. Oh, right. Is this the one that you need more than one packet for? Um, yeah, or piece it together. Piece it together. Okay. Three ninety nine. You might have it in your stash at home already. 
and your moustache full. Right, shall we get on with some sewing? Good morning, Catherine. How Hello, are you? John. I'm very well, thank she you. She came in going, I need coffee. That was the first thing she said. I can't do anything. Do you need any help? No, I need coffee. I need coffee, she said. And then she tried to make a, a, a decaffeinated. And that it was no go good at all, well. no. I'd have tea instead. Oh, was there no proper coffee? Couldn't find any. Oh, now Kat's got a... Oh, no, don't. No, 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 no. Normally you know, Elliot's got a really good coffee stash. Oh, yes, But he, he wasn't in at that point. Oh, he I'll can make one in the next break. So, Kat, you know she always has a carton of coffee with caramel in it or something like that. They didn't have that this week, so she's got Intenso this week. Ooh. And she drinks a whole litre carton. It's, it's already made up in the oh. carton. And she, I was going to offer you some, but then she drinks it like that at the carton, no. so you don't want that. I only like strong black Coffee. Oh, okay. Well, Get Elliot the full force of the caffeine. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so you tea instead. Um, did you make that dress? It's lovely. I didn't know. I went shopping on Monday. I had a, I had a well-being day with my friend. Oh. And we went shopping and had lunch. It was lovely. Oh, and did you buy that dress? I did. Oh, it's lovely. Thank it's you. really nice. It's really you should get the pattern of that, making lots of colours. Do you know what? I've, I've never normally had a lot of success with a wrap dress, and I did think. Yeah, I really like no, it. I'm going to make one like this, yeah, definitely. Would, take the pattern from that, because that yeah. really suits you. Thank that one. you. Anyway, <laughs> shall we go on with some sewing? Yes. You're not here for compliments, you're here to make. <laughs> now, why didn't you make one of the other things? Why did you choose this in the book, or were you just well, told? Well, um, we were going to make the picnic blanket. Oh, the one I like at but, the back? Yes, but it's very, very big. Right. It's 70 inches diameter circle. Right. So that's over one and a half metres. Yeah. And I just felt... We wouldn't really get it on the desk and I'd have been wrestling it yeah. and not being able to sort of baste it together. And I just, you know, couldn't yeah. have shown it really no, well. No, 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 no. So I said, can we do something else? But this is nice. This is cute. And, and this is one that they yeah. chose, yes. Yeah. Uh, and it's nice because it's got this nice um, little pleated technique. Yeah. So if you've not had a go at it before, it's a good way to have a Absolutely. go. Absolutely. Now, we haven't put anything inside it, but there's nothing stopping you getting some Insul Bright or some Thermalan, is there, to go inside. So you can put your hot, because you couldn't put your hot, Hot. Like no. at Christmas, you know I'm not a fan of the table runner, but at Christmas, when I'm at Mike and Julie's, all the hot pots from the oven come out and they all get put on the yes. table and they've got an antique, really beautiful, so they have to have something down to stop the heat going through to the Absolutely. table. Absolutely. This one is, and the instructions are just to interface it, yeah. but you could easily add something in. Yeah. yeah. And in the bundles of fabric, you were saying there's lots of fabric, you've definitely got enough left over, you could make some matching placemats or napkins oh, okay, or whatever, perfect. there's definitely... You know, in yeah, fact, because, there's because a, a little placemat thing in the book, the colour oh, okay. block. So you could, you know, I reckon you'd have enough to do some of those too if those. you wanted. Yeah, because yeah. The, because you're pleaty fabric, you're only going to use a fat. So you can see, when you got and you got a few little strips. Oh, is that how you make them? Yes. Oh. So if I go through what we've got, so for the the backing, yeah, we have two big rectangles that then get joined together in the middle. So you can see I've already joined that piece together. Right. Um, and I've put my interfacing on. Now, obviously, they're long. So you've got to use separate bits of interfacing because it's longer than a metre. Yeah. But it's OK. You can piece it up. And because it's inside, you, you can't notice. Yeah. So that's my backing all ready. So and then now is that the equivalent to this tan fabric? Or is that the it, backing back? Oh, the so underneath. That's the backing it's the underneath. There. Right, that's, right, yeah. Right. yeah. And then for the top, we've got a longish rectangle. So that's this side of your table runner uh -huh. and a smaller one for this side. And then we're going to make up our pleated okay, section we'll with lots little of middle, little yeah. strips. Yeah. Okay, so we've got two strips that are a bit bigger. They're two inches wide. And then we've got seven strips of your contrast. Right. And they all need to just get folded in half. Right. So I've prepped some of them. And we'll iron this one. And this is a lovely iron. Yes. Now, the thing about the iron is you can have it like Catherine's got it, completely free of the wire. But you can also put it on the base, click a switch, and it becomes a one with the wire attached to it as well. So that if you don't want to keep putting it back on the base. But if you've got, like, shirts and difficult things to get into, then you use it like this. It's brilliant. It's, it's very, very light. It is. That's what's nice. Yeah. It's light. And the steam is amazing. Yeah. It's 49. Is it 49.99, Kat? 49.99. So you're contrasting strips, eight strips, one and a half inches by 17 inches. And yeah. then we've got similar. And you want, when you cut it out, you want your pattern to be going in the same direction, I think. Oh, yes. That's it will be annoying, won't it? Yep. OK, so they're going to get pieced together very straightforwardly. This is a, a nice, easy make. So we're going to take one of the outside larger ones and align in the raw edges of the pleats. I'll put a couple of pins in to hold it. 
And we're sewing with a quarter inch seam all the way down. Oh, it doesn't get sandwiched, you just sew it too. No, we are sandwiching it. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I told you I wasn't awake. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we are. Thank you, John. No, no, it's all right. I just couldn't <laughs> figure out how you're going to do it. I was like, oh, this is new to No, me. I would have realised, wouldn't I? Halfway. It's very early to be making a table, but yeah, anyway, isn't yeah. it? Okay. So. Yeah, because Catherine's on three hours today. She'll be a wreck by the end. Because <laughs> she's doing. Oh, I'll go back in square. Because she's doing yarn lane as well later. Right, so quarter of an inch. I've got my quarter inch foot on because they're yeah. always handy for keeping yeah. yourself nice and straight. Is my foot pedal working? No, let's plug that in. And she's off. I'm off, finally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just said it's a lovely quick make, this one. actually quite enjoyed doing it. I'd not done those sort of twisty pleats before. Yeah, they're, they're a little bit like um, Sally Ann Harrison does like a pouch and things. They're not quite the same. They're not the same technique as this, but they kind of look a little bit like this. And um, we'll give it a press as we go along. I found uh -huh. that made it nice and nice and neat. Uh -huh. And then the next one in the same way. But what I'm going to do is start sewing it from the other end, just because when I did this one, if you sew them all the, from the same end, you get a little bit of a bend in oh, okay. them if you're not careful. Yeah. It's a bit like when you do bar jello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, lots of strips. Of yeah, so if you start from the other end, that should stop that happening, I think. So the bundle that's on, on the right graphics are the one we're using. The one on the left is the book that the pattern comes from. Obviously, the book does not come in the panel. But the book is meant to be, what do we say, 18 99 Now, I know normally we're one or two pounds out to the better. That's half, that's, that's, well, it's almost half the price, isn't it? Double price would be 20 and this is 19 You know what I mean? There's something gone awry there. That should, shouldn't There's a be. lot of really nice projects There's in it. There's loads, though. aren't yeah. there? I really liked the little storage boxes. The what, sorry? The storage box, little storage boxes yeah. with the dividers. I thought they looked good. They're all lovely. I could use them for so many things. I like that. I like a laundry basket. And when I had Norman and Nelly, well, what? I like it, but when I had Norman and Nelly, Norman, for some reason, kept thinking it was his toilet, so I had to get rid of it. Oh, John, I've picked up the wrong piece there and put the oh, big one in. You've done what? <laughs> Should have been on the end. What, the bigger one? I'm going to just carry on. Carry on regardless. I'm going to just well, carry no, you, on. What you're doing is you're making it your own <laughs> version now. So ideally, this one, the wide one, the other two inch one, should have been on the other yeah. end. Just remind me next time she's in to have some, bring some coffee in. <laughs> I don't drink coffee, but I'll bring coffee in. And it's got too many things to do. We are working on the Facebook and the YouTube and the... Yeah, sorry, we do know it's not working. We do know it's, somebody's working. We've got gremlins all over the place today. And <laughs> I think I I've got one, one, haven't I? You've so. got one, yours is just a coffee <laughs> gremlin. Do you know what? Yesterday, John, I did. I had a lovely, a lovely class all day, dress, ladies coming to do dressmaking. Yeah. And they were getting... You know, one or two of them were getting a bit stressed if they went wrong. Oh. And, and I said, but we all go wrong all the time. Yeah. Watch you me know? on telly Yeah, tomorrow. exactly. <laughs> um, but, you know, you can always undo it, can't you? And yeah, have exactly. another go. And obviously, if I was doing it at home, of course I'd undo it and put it right. Yeah. You've got Mark Francis coming into your place. I to have. Do a tie demo, uh, yes. A tie. Yes, we're having cake and everything. And when's that? When's he doing that? It, he's, he, he's doing that on the 10th. 10th of July, oh, okay. Saturday he's in, he's the 10th. In well, day we are. Tomorrow, he's in here tomorrow. But um, I just saw it on his um, Instagram, yeah. his Facebook page. Yeah. Very exciting. So that's the Leicestershire Craft Centre. Some ladies are coming all the way from Swindon to see him. Oh. So, and Market Harbour is lovely. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you don't live close, you can have a lovely day out. Yeah. Just off the motorway. Very easy oh, to get go, to. Oh, you go, advert going on there. <laughs> Say that again, Kat. Oh, apparently there's good charity shops in Market there Harbour. There are really good ones. 
I get all my best clothes from there. Okay. <laughs> but not that one. That's not new. this one, no. This one was in the sale. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, a real bargain hunter. But that's so I can save my money for fabric, you think? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. I've got my eye on that really nice, bright bundle for later. Oh, have you? Yeah. <laughs> Um, not to be a harbinger of doom, I hear that Gap are closing down. Little balls distraught. Gap, are Gap, High Street. Totally. Yeah. Totally. In totally. The country. England and oh, Ireland no. like, shutting down. Yeah. Well, they used to be very, very the place to go, didn't they? Yeah. Do Many say, years Kat? ago. Yeah, yeah. They're not closing. They're just taking the UK stores out of the UK. Does that mean we can't even buy online as well? Uh, whenever all my friends had children, you see, all I used to buy all their clothes from Gap for them. And my godson, Luciano, his first word that he spoke was Gap. <laughs> was it really? Yeah, because <laughs> um, fairy godfather John kept buying him clothes with Gap written on the front. But they were, they were always really nice quality, weren't Very they, good quality, as well? yeah. 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 Oh. I know. Little Paul's upset. Mind you, he's not wearing Gap today. I don't... I don't think they wear leopard, they sell leopard print trainers there, do they? Oh, uh, have you got a gap on, Cat? Oh, there you go, Cat's got a top from Gap on stuff. I mean, I think a lot of stores had gone. I haven't been in a gap for a long time. No. So we're just going to keep adding them on. Uh-huh. How many are there? One, two, there three. are. They're going to be um, one, two, three, <laughs> four, well, five, six. Well, I just keep going. <laughs> no, it's meant to be eight. Eight little pleats. Yes. And I've done one, two, three, four, five. So we're getting there. Yeah. So you see, it's really quite, quite straightforward. Yeah. As long as you do them in the right order. As long as you do them in the right order. You can see I've got a, a gap. I oh, know. But I think they might, they could work, couldn't they, if you did them all, all slightly different? Once you've you done your do first one, you could do them all slightly different. Yes, I mean, you could tweak the design, absolutely. <laughs> Most things I do have got a, a unique Catherine yeah. spin on them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, no such thing as a mistake. <laughs> uh, most popular ones work, Cat. Oh, it, th this one. The one that we're demoing, yeah? The one that we're demoing is the most popular one. I think that's my favourite, um, the metallic Oh, sorry, sample, sample, one sample's made of, yeah, Oh, the I really like the metallic in this. Yes, yeah, that's the Moda one. Sorry, I've got confused there. Which would actually be good for, like, quite a modern Christmas table with the gold, yeah. wouldn't it? Christmas, look at this talking about Christmas already. No, Paul, we're not doing that. The book is meant to be eighteen ninety nine. For some reason, we've got it for nine ninety nine. Take advantage of me not saying hello to you by the book to make up for it. Are we not back on yet? No. Aww. Apparently, the Wowser browser. No, is that right? The Wowser browser is work not working apparently. Oh, now Lisa Lamb's just sent a message. How's that happened? Where did that come from? I mean, she might have sent it my personal one. Oh, yeah, it was a personal message, sorry. <laughs> How do you know that then, Kat? Are you trying to fix it out there? Well, everything in the world or just does. Good. Last one. Okay. Okay. So when you're cutting this, these strips are actually slightly wider than the actual table runner. So it doesn't, you know, if you get one and it's not quite perfectly lined up, it's going to be okay because you're going to get to trim it. Okay, perfect. Hello, new buyers. Yeah, normally we're very efficient with the Facebook and the web and all that thing. I do apologise. Elliot's on to it now. 
He doesn't look very happy, I have to say. It's his day off today, apparently. Oh, no. Nine ninety nine the book. Shouldn't be. Barry the book buyer. Well Okay, so we need to make sure they're all all pressed in the same direction at this point. Yeah. Which if you've sort of done like I've done and pressed it as you go. Yeah. Then that that works. And, and it clearly does tell you that the two inch strip should be at the outside. At the end, so yeah. that one really should be there. Okay. Be interested to see how it works out. See if you could do it like that, it, you know, different sizes and it looks all right. Yes. And then we're going to trim it down. Okay. No, that one's not got inches on. Oh, you're all right. Never mind. I don't know where the big one this, is. It's, it's over here. <laughs> do you need it? I'll get it. <laughs> Hang on. Oh. I, I, Thank you. Okay. We are sanitised and I was a metre away, so it's fine. We bathe, bathe in it before we start, oh, don't tell we? Tell me about <laughs> it. We've got so much of it here. What's the matter, Paul? But, Paul, we were saying that on one shopping channel recently, both the presenters were standing next to each other. So then you're trimming it down to 16 inches. Uh -huh. But I'm going to trim a little bit off each end so you can make sure that each end is fine. Nice and neat. You have to press quite hard because you've got a lot of seams to get through at this point. Do what? There's always quite a few seams to get through at this uh, point. Uh -huh. So just really press down hard so that you, you get them right. There we go. Okay. So we're going to just do a little basting stitch to hold it in place yeah. at the edges. So I'm going to make my stitch a little bit longer to do that. I'm just, I'm just going to go down a quarter inch to hold them. It's Helen Rhiannon's birthday today, for everyone who knows Helen Rhiannon. I only know this because I haven't got Facebook Live on, so I'm just sitting here reading my Facebook. Oh, I'm not on the fan. How do I do that? Where's the fan? How do I find the fan space? I'm rubbish at this. It's called like Sewing Street Fans. Oh, no, I know that. I know that, but I don't know how to get onto it on here. I'm only used to my little computer at home. Hang on. In fact, I search Facebook Sewing Street Fans. Anyone else having problems watching this morning? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll let me write we're, we're just having problems all yeah. together now. My sewing machine's come unthreaded. Oh, no. <laughs> right, now, Paul says if we want to talk about problems, he'll just come out and tell you his life story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just watching me type. I'm just typing a message on Facebook fan page. Don't forget the book, it should be way more expensive than we've got it. Now, do they have a, a little background for like working on something there, that one? That's a picture of Elliot on the phone there. There we go. So what's Catherine doing? So she's So I'm just basting the edges. I've trimmed it down and just basted the edges of the pleats just to hold them all in place and then we're going to mark up our where we're going to do our twisty bits. Uh-huh. I don't know. It says hello everybody. Hello Lintuit. Send me messages on can send me a message if you want on the Facebook fan page now, Sewing Street fan page, because I'm on there now. Okay, so Do first of all, we're going to mark the centre. So it's 16 inches wide, so we're going to mark the oh, centre. Oh, and using red friction pen. Well, it's, it was on the desk, so yes. <laughs> but you'll be able to see it as well. Yeah. I, do, I like the red ones. They show up. Yeah. Because I think you want them that's to. Not my fa that's not the one I had earlier. Oh, it was just one. Yeah, that's right, because the one I had earlier, I put in the box thinking, I remember I'll put it in the box here when I pack away later. 
they're all over the place, aren't they? Uh, they, they are. They are. Yes. And then three, and then we do two more lines. They're three inches apart each. Book, first time we've had it in. Super, super, super popular. Got new buyers coming in today. Don't know how, but they have. <laughs> Sheila says, good morning, John. At, at Sue says, hi, John, Catherine and team. Cat and Paul are the team today. Well, we had to call her Cat. They couldn't call her Cathy, so she doesn't like that. And it's Cat with a C, by the way. Not cat with a K. So your Catherine is with a K. Oh yeah, Catherine, this Catherine's with a K. I'm with a K. But cat, the producer, is Catherine with a C. That's why when you say cat, it's a C, not a K. It's a very um, problematic name, Catherine. Yes. <laughs> My uh, little sister is called Katie, but... Right, and so I've marked up centre and then two more three inches apart. You're going to sew down the outer one first. The outer? No, sorry. What the is going on one. today? I don't know. The centre <laughs> one first. It's because in my head I'm thinking, and then it's the outer yes, one. Yes, yes, yeah. So, from your so, brain's working faster than yes, your mouth will change. <laughs> and then the outer ones. They're all going to go in the same direction. And then the other two this way are going to come in the other direction. So then they pull your pleats this way, that's how you get your nice okay. little twist going on. So. so let's see how this works then. Right, I just let me um, change the foot back okay. over because your quarter inch foot won't work for this. I've got one. some more comments then. <laughs> uh, Gillian says, morning, John. Anne says, morning, John. Thank you for the lovely photo and the pin. Hi to Cat, Paul and Catherine. Also natural says, morning, Catherine. Cat and Paul, happy Friday. Pauline says, John, fabulous demonstration with Catherine, so <laughs> enjoyable. Well, it would be Pauline if she got it right, <laughs> wouldn't it? Oh, got more. Oh, crack, there's loads of comments coming through now. Margaret says, morning, John, that pic looks like Hannah on the phone, not Elliot. Oh, yes. <laughs> morning, John and Catherine, lovely demo, says Louise. Aww. You're all being very kind. <laughs> you are being very kind. <laughs> Oh, there's more people on the fan page, right? Crazy Rain says morning. Oh, that's the only one I've got. Oh no, now why isn't that coming up then? Who said that? Who said I'm scrolling down, right? So I've got I've got my one that nine people have commented on that says Diane says thought it was me in the dodgy reception. No, it's Catherine's bad sewing, I'm afraid today. <laughs> Lorraine says good morning. Then I've got Princess saying having problems. I've just done that now. No, they're not. They're not coming up. I'm going to say hello to Amanda this morning and Mabel because Amanda's bro broken a finger and she can't sew. Oh no! I've done, come up, but not in the right order. Dawn Scriven says, "Morning, John and team. You're looking very dapper. Thank you." Helen says, "Hi, John and team." But they're all. They don't come in order. Any order, do they? Right. Now what have you bob lost now? Now my bobbins run out. Oh no! <laughs> it's just nicely <laughs> prepped then. <laughs> it was. It was quite full. There's quite a bit of sewing in it. Good morning, John. Enjoy the show. Making it a fun Friday, says Michelle. <laughs> oh, also natural is Neve in Ireland. It is Friday. It's weird. I thought it was Monday when I was driving in this morning. Well, no, Paul does no idea what one. day of the week it is. You all right over there? Yes, so I just was just... Right, let me do... Let me, I tell you what, let me read, recap the um, book first. Now, this book's supposed to be 18 99 How we've done it for 9 99 I do not know. Because that's not even a couple of pounds, is it? It's like... Major, major, and it's not—it's not a discounted item because it's brand spanking new today. I'll have a word with Barry the book. Oh no, he won't be in today. Nine ninety-nine. Thirty-one projects are on here. Thirty-one projects in this book. I don't know. Thirty-one into nine ninety-nine. About thirty p. Is it? Is it cap? 32p a project. 32p a project, that is. Fiona says, good morning, John and Catherine and team. Morning, honey, you're doing fine. Catherine, doing fine. Nothing worse than the bobbin running out, says Mary. Breakfast and lunch in bed today, says Christine. Oh, lovely. Uh, good morning, all, says Carol. 
Has Mark, has, has Catherine sewn through the cables, she said. No, not, not yet. Not yet. Not yet, but that could be. <laughs> Haven't Fiona, broken a needle yet. No, could be though. We're Fiona saving that for the morning. next show, aren't we, John? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it can only get worse. Laurie <laughs> says, morning, John. You never how much you love watching something till you can't get it. Oh, Laurie. Right, I've done the book. Now let's do the bundles. So the bundle that Catherine is working with is this one, Moda. Well, it's Moda and um, Rose and Hubble. So you get a metre of the cream, a metre of that, and half a metre of that. metallic this one. Well, well, you loved this collection when we launched it. You loved it. And our second bundle is this one. Now, I, I'm surprised this one hasn't, um, that's been, hasn't been the most popular. So you get a metre of your green writing. You get a metre of your sage green and half a metre of your cream. And then our most popular bundle, which is the one that Catherine's already made it out of, is this one here. So you get a metre of... This, I've never seen this before today. I like it as well. Meter, meter, half meter. That's natural seeded, isn't it, that one? Cat. <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, if you look closely, they've got little dot, dotty spots in them. 19.99 for two and a half meter fabric. Oh, remember, on Sunday. Oh, you thought it was cork? Uh, on Sunday, oh, going backwards now. On Sunday, don't forget, got clearance all day Sunday. Just me, no guests. Nobody warned me. Anyway, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, so I'm actually on the bit where... Oh, you're ready to do it now yes, then, good. Yes. So, we've got it lined up for this, and as, we, as you get to your pleats, we're going to turn them that way, so you stitch over them, oh, yeah, and, yeah, and they it. Okay. twist the other way. We're only doing one at a time, as you can't see your line. Yeah, of course. Oh, hang on, there's a message from Sewing Street. We're experiencing some trouble with our Facebook, YouTube and website. Don't worry, we're working on fixing the problem. So, you can see, you've just got that nice, nice little twist. So we're going to do the same on the other side. Yeah. And then Morning, Mr. Ray of Sunshine. Lots of people missing you. Technology is wonderful when it works. I think you will need chocolate or cake to cope with the stressful situation. Oh, I'm not stressed, Cathy. Elliot is. Elliot is. How long is... Hey, go. Nicholas says, how long is the finished runner, please? That's a good question. It's... Uh, does it to give us a finished length? Oh, it does. Hold on. 15 inches by 48 inches. 48 inches by 15 inches. It's bigger than a metre, Paul, because a metre's 40 inches. You weren't far off. Eight inches. I mean, there's nothing to stop you adjusting the size of these rectangles uh -huh. if you want it bigger or smaller. There's nothing to stop you actually making more strips. No, and exactly. making that Or putting another one in this end. Absolutely, and making them, you know, more pleats if you want to, because you've got loads of fabric in that bundle to be able to do that. So you could easily adapt it for whatever your table yeah, exactly. is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because that would look a bit... My table's quite long. And that wouldn't even cover the width of my table, so you'd have to, I'd have to make it longer for mine. Morning, John and Catherine. I'll pop over to Margaret Harbour as I live nearby from Anita. Oh, that'd there be nice. I had a lovely lady come and visit me. She came quite a long way. Anne, Anne Jenkins from, uh -huh. from Birmingham came to see me. Oh. So, hello, Anne. And oh, and her husband, Paul, who was just look gorgeous. He was gorgeous. He was say. lovely. He was such a sweetheart. He'd so don't take all your husband, otherwise she'll be flirting. And then with he husband. had to go and move the car and Aww. just so she could come and have a look at fabric. Paul saying, "Was it Paul? Because he's called Paul and he's gorgeous." It wasn't that Paul. Now I think I would have recognised him, wouldn't I? Yeah, I don't think he's got a wife either. <laughs> uh, so at then you've got your nice pleated bit ready, and then you're ready to pop. Oh, is that it? Yeah, pop it all together. Oh, you can put it that way around, whichever way around you like best. Uh-huh. Pop it together, two bits like that, and then you're literally going to uh, back it out when you add the backing. Okay. So sew all the way around, leave a little gap, turn it around and top stitch. I'll put this top part together while you... Okay, have you put all the lines in? Yes. So this, the, this, the middle one and the two outer ones are... Down. Down, and then to the other oh, way yeah, that take yeah, it yeah. up. It just looked like they were much smaller in the grey. Maybe it's just the way of the fabric, isn't it? It just looks different in the grey, doesn't it? 
It's also possibly because I've got the little gap. Oh, yeah, maybe. But <laughs> Although it doesn't look that noticeable no. once I've done no, the... No, if you hadn't said anything, no one would have noticed. Do you, think? Do you think I'd have got away with it? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, now, the book, the book is... It, what's in the book, says Wendy. I missed that bit. Wendy, where have you been? Look. Here's the book, Wendy. Now, it should be 1899. I don't quite know what's happened with the camera. It's gone the other way. It went upwards and took a picture of the lights. <laughs> there you go. So in the book, there you go, in the book, there's 31 projects. It's all in different sections. So you've got, oh, you've got outdoors. You've got gusted cushions for outdoors. Then you've got all the indoors, pendant lamps, pillows, another pillow, rug. Then you've got the uh, office storage. Third of the stock of the book's gone, laundry tote. Pineapple hot pad. It's got the template and everything, look. Rolled hem napkins, colour block placemats. There's the one we're doing. It's a twist table runner. There's so much in it. Look, loads and loads. 31 projects. But can I point out to you, who was Anita? Was it Anita? No, it wasn't Anita that just asked. It was Wendy. Wendy, it says on the back of the book, it should be 18 99 And we're selling it for 9 99 for some reason. Okay, there you go. No, Linda, there's no estimated uh, there's no estimated time of arrival for the uh, finishing it, I'm afraid. It's the Wowser Browser that's wrong. It's not us, it's Wowser Browser. I'm so missing the chat this morning. I'm here, Susan. I can chat with you still. <laughs> and good morning, John and team, says Donna. So there we go. We've got the whole the whole bit together uh -huh. there. Lovely. And you're backing. It's funny they've put the, the um, interfacing into the backing, isn't it? They've isn't got it on both sides. Oh, it's on, sorry, both that Both sides bad. are interfaced. Right. Oh, that's why you need yes. so much, yeah. Yes. But it does give it quite a nice sturdiness. Yes, yeah. But as you say, you could put add wadding. You could, you could, if you'd added some wadding, you could do some nice quilting on it if you wanted to. I was going to say, I might, I might, just even if I didn't wad it, I might put some more lines of stitching up this end because the table run is going to get food slopped on it isn't it and you're going to want to throw it in the washing machine and I'm always a bit wary of, of washing a big bit of interfacing like that in case it starts coming away inside so I might do a few more top stitching just to hold it. it that's yeah. a good idea I think I think you can get quite you could get quite creative yeah, with it and yeah. yes adapt it oh my word oh so many people would learn now you can message me here now you see Geraldine it's not your fault is it it's not your fault. I can see another sorry code coming soon. Just have to watch on the telly. Geraldine, it's the Wowser Browser that's gone down. It's a worldwide thing. It's not us. Worldwide web problem. Oh, Louise, what a lovely picture of a table runner she's made. Could just put that up on the Facebook page. Oh, people put lovely things up on that fan yeah, page yeah. that they make. It's a lot of talent out there, isn't there? It certainly is. What's the matter, Cat? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're what she says they're working on, they promise they're working on it. They are working on it. Nine ninety nine. this book is. Should be eighteen ninety nine. Oh, look at the time. Yeah? Got 12 seconds. 12 seconds? Yeah, so if you could finish it and press <laughs> it in 12 seconds, that'd be brilliant. Uh, now, Catherine will be back in an hour's time. And you're doing your bag, aren't you? I am, yes. Your bag, which is on the stand behind me. Paul's got a picture of it. There it is. Uh, it's her own pattern, and we've got three different colours of it, but we are selling the pattern on its own because you might be thinking, oh, I've got the perfect scrap size. Because it's scrap buster, really, isn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yeah. You say, you got, oh, I've got the right colours I just need for this summer outside, uh, not outside, in the other room. Say that again. Oh, yeah, you can, that's what I'm saying. You can buy the instructions on their own, you see, on pre-order. Then you can make your own fabrics and then watch the demo later. We have got three bundles as well. Don't want to let... Four? Four? Three. Three bundles. Right, there's one really beautiful, brightly coloured one that we've seen this morning that we all love. Anyway, a really quick recap on this one. So the book is 9 
should be 18.99. Brand banking you today. Oh, half the stock's gone now. Half the stock of these has gone already. Yeah, you wait till people can start watching on the web again. If it'll ever happen. Remember, you can message me on... Uh, I'm, I'm on the Sewing Street fans page now. And Kat's still taking emails. Anyway, let's go for a break and see what we can do over the break. I, have a look at your bundle, she says. I'll see you in a minute. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our website, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harborough. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking. Um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and anything to do with textiles, really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and, oh, you name it, I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron. But I'm a terribly impatient person. I also just want to get on with the project. So. I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have a seam allowance so I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners, and I would say don't get disheartened, take your um, learning journey slowly, don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt, build up your skills um, you know, slowly. Um, and I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters so you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our website, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. 
And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. It's chaos today. It's absolutely, we just had the delivery. And the delivery boy was a bit cheeky. I know. Yeah. Paul was chatting to him. Yeah. That's the boy that just delivered the lights. Yeah. Young chap who delivered the lights. Right. Okay. I need to explain to you. I need to explain to you that the Facebook Live, the YouTube and the... On the web isn't working. There are people coming in. There might be a lot of noise during this hour. There are... Come, people are coming in. It's the Wowzer browser apparently that's gone. So I am on the fans page. I'm chatting to people on the fans page here. Which cousin Susan said, just found you, Don. Hope you're back on Facebook soon. They're working on it. They're working on it. Um, so if you want to send me a message, send me a message on the Facebook fan page under the strand where I've put... We're getting there. We will get there, I promise you. Because other people are just writing other things. I don't always see those. That's the problem. Because I keep refreshing my page. Well, that's a nice top, Kerry Porter, that she's made for her holidays. Right, OK. So I'll just do this and then I'll get on. Bernadette says, I called customer services to make my order because I was in difficulty due to the temporary web problem. Just have to say the customer service team are all so sweet and helpful. Also, the call centre doesn't have those awful you are the 20th in the queue system messages. Oh, I didn't know. Bev says you're worth waiting for, John. Helen says, I couldn't get on my telly the other day. Probably need another retune, getting too frequent. That's not, Helen, that's not our fault. That's because the people who own YouTube go from, uh, the Facebook go from one to, not Facebook, Freeview. That wasn't our fault. That was nothing to do with us. That's their problem. It's not us. So please don't think it's us making uh, life difficult. Morning, John and all. I want to know what you said to Barry the book buyer to make him blush. It doesn't take much. Right, okay, okay, okay. So this is, welcome to my shop. And I've got to start off by doing the iron. Now, we had, here it is in the, <laughs> oh, there's only nine left. There's only nine left, right? We had it on the birthday. Now, this is the luxury limited edition cordless iron. This is the box it comes in. It's black and rose gold. It's no, no, Paul, it's a brilliant iron. It's a, and now I know it's a bit pricey. Oh, actually, I, I go straight to the Beldrake. They might not have it any left, but they've got the blue one, I think, in this one. Uh, let me show you, because we've done, we've done cordless two in one irons before. Right, so you've just seen Catherine using it like this, haven't you, on its own? Well, this is the base, right? This is the base that it comes on. That blue light round there is nothing to do with the heating or anything like that. That's just for design. That's just for fancy, as my friend Sheila would say. The iron itself sits on the base like this. So, if you want a completely and utterly cordless iron, then you just sit it on the base like this, you use it to do your ironing, and then when you finish, you pop it back on. Oh, actually, do you know what I need to do? You pop it back on to the base, and um, then it um, recharges. It takes five seconds to recharge. Right, I'm just doing this because there's not, no water. I'll show you this thing. I've got a water. It was here. It was there already. Right, I know you're not supposed to put water in when they're, heat, when they're already hot, but there you go. 
No, you always put your water in when it's cold and it hit, let it heat up. It takes 25 seconds to heat up to the t highest temperature at the beginning. Right, now you're saying, well, why is it called a two-in-one? Because I can see the base and I can see the iron here, right? If you see here, there's a little switch that goes from unlocked to locked. On Beldre. Oh, okay. Right, anyway, look, 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 look. So you put that across to the locked one there, and then you lift it up, look, and the base is attached to it. Now, the base is only lightweight. It's only lightweight. It says, now, this way, if you're doing your ironing and you don't want to keep putting it down, it's not cordless anymore. It's just like a normal iron, look. Isn't it brilliant? But look at that steam. Look at the strength of that steam that's coming out. Oh, hang on. Look. Look. Oh, is there a fire alarm above me? I did that. Do you know what? Once we were doing this morning from um, ITV. Well, not from, yeah, from ITV, Coronation Street. And I'd left the steamer on. And we were all going around. I think the whole, we stopped the whole show and everything. Because all the fire alarms off. We had to leave the building. This morning I had to go off air and everything. Because I'd left the steamer on in the, in the room that we were doing the pressing of the clothes or the fashion item. Anyway, it's $49.99. It's super deluxe. It's a special edition. Um, I, can't, I can't think what else I need to tell you. It's quick and convenient, water spray function, 300 milliliter water tank. You do get the little jug with it. 140 G mins, the steam is. That steam I just showed you. Easy grip handle, uh, ceramic sole plate. What are you saying to me, little Paul? Oh, be careful. I've only got three left. I've only got three left now. It is, now, if you want to, you can switch the, the steam off completely. Uh, it has got a squirter on it. If you don't want to use the steam, you want to use spray spray right there. You can vary the amount of steam that you, you use there and there. And it's brilliant. It's such a lovely iron. Look. Where is the fire alarm? Oh, it's over there. I'll do it that way. Imagine if we did set it off. Yeah, well, oh no, it must well isn't working. Oh no, it is, it is working, it is working, it is working, it is working, it is working. Yeah, only three left. Only three left, little Paul just told me. Oh, little Paul. Little Paul's going to be producing me in a few weeks' time, so he's getting his practice in now. Reva, I'm back. After this latest retune, you're at last long in my kitchen. Oh, Reva. Morning, everyone, says Beverly. Hope those gremlins are sorted soon. Well, the men haven't arrived to fix it yet. Liz says, morning. Thank you for all the updates beyond your control. Great table runner from Catherine. We'll have to watch it again later. Uh, you're so welcome. Just send me a message underneath my strand on the Facebook fan page. and You'll be able to get your messages through. Right, OK, I'll put that down there. Right, while I'm at it, then, I've got these lovely mats. Now, these are fantastic. Now, this is the biggest one here. Oh, I forgot to pick up a piece of fabric. No, I can reach, I can reach, I can reach. Oh! Right. Yeah, sorry. I've got the blue one. Right, it's like a cobalt blue. Don't think we call it a marine, I think we call this one. Right, look at this, right? I've got the iron here. Let me unlock it. The thing that's brilliant about these mats is when you get one, you'll want, look, you'll wonder why. Now, that's a mixture of a brilliant iron, but also this brilliant mat, because it's lovely and solid, that mat. Yep. And it will, uh, what happens is, is the wool, it's 90% wool, 10% polyester. It will absorb the heat and the steam from the iron. There you go, look. Will absorb the heat and the steam. So there's heat coming from the other side as well as this side. So it retains the heat and the steam. A bit like a clapper, do you know what I mean? But they're, it's just brilliant, isn't it? Do you need what? No, no, you don't need to worry about your table and things. Uh, sometimes it gets a little bit damp if you use lots and lots of steam. But you don't need to put it on anything. It doesn't need to go on another mat or anything underneath. 90% cotton, 10% uh, polyester. It retains the heat and the steam, making pressing easier. Conveniently portable. You can pin. You can pin through into there. Perfect next to your sewing machine. And it's a firm surface with precise pressing. This is oh, this size, I've now only got two left. Two left of this size. Oops. I've got a smaller version, if you'd like to see the smaller version, little Paul, if you've... Oh, no, I meant... 
No, I don't know where it is. There it is, I can see it. I thought little Paul was going to bring it out. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. The little Paul version. We had something the other day, didn't we, that was very little, and I was saying, oh, it's a little Paul version. You see, even when you're not here, we think about you. Eight and a half by eight and a half, this one. I've only got six of these left now. Six of these left. I'm not going to iron on this one because this, this is a new one and I don't want to get it up. It's exactly the same. We had a little one for me to demonstrate on. I don't know what's happened to it. Anyway, I'll just pop that down there. Oh, Wendy Orlando will have taken it home, no doubt. Now, look, this week, uh, what day is it? Yeah, it was earlier this week. Sorry, I've got, I've got, I've just got a bit of an issue. Hang on. Got an airlock. Sorry, in my ear, not in the tube. Yeah, it's like I've been swimming. Right, we ordered enough of these to keep us going for a long time. Right. <coughs> we had it in the two different designs. We had the house one and the spot one. The house one always sells incredibly quickly. Well, I haven't got any of the house ones left. But I've got the spot one. This is Emma Bradford's favourite thing in her workroom. She uses it all the time. She uses it all the time. Because the top here is like your very own pressing mat. So you can just press as much as you like on there. You can pin on there if you want to because it's soft and squidgy. But then if you open it, you've got a mini cutting mat, both in inches and in centimetres. And then this bit here, it's either a block keeper. This is sandpaper. When you're marking up your half square triangles, which I'll show you in a second though, maybe using this, sometimes the ruler slips, sometimes the fabric moves. When you put it on a little bit of um, sandpaper, it doesn't move. Also, you don't have to, have to press as heavily with your marker, so you don't stretch it, especially if you're going bias across the fabric. Also, if you're using a pencil, because this is a sandpaper underneath, it all, it's, something, it's enough for the pencil to, what's it called? You know, like kind of wet... Um, because this is rough and you pull the pencil across, you don't have to press so hard because it already aggravates. That's not the right word, is it? The pencil. Paul gets aggravated quite easily. I know you do. I've known you for a long time now. I know these things. Oh, you have calmed down an awful lot, yeah. 14.99. The house version is sold out. The floral one sold out. 14.99. It's brilliant. It's a brilliant price for what you use it for. Take it to projects with you, take it to class with you. Because they're saying, aren't they, now you can't use the iron or the ironing board in classes. You have to use your own. Perfect. Perfect. I chuntered, nice local colloquialism, around my sewing room looking for the show on Fire Stick, YouTube and phone. Retuned my TV and you're back on normal TV. Happy days. <coughs> says Sue. Well, Sue, yeah, yeah, the thing is, because we're down, the web and everything, the, what's it called? The Wowser Browser has gone down. The men will be here in a minute to fix it, apparently. Oh, oh, wait, oh, sorry, I thought we knew who it was coming. I thought it was the one with the beard. Is it the one with the beard and the long hair? He's got three sidekicks. It's the man who's in charge of, like, IT. Uh, yeah, uh, he turns up with his three sidekicks. We'll see if they're here now. Yeah. Oh, now back in stock, needle grippers. Now, we don't, oh, excuse me, we don't always use these as needle grippers. I had black, I had some black, um, black bridge in the break. Grippers, what did I say? Needle grippers, right. Now, they're more like hemostats, aren't they? Uh, if you want to stuff a toy, Mandy Shaw uses these all the time. But if you're doing, if you're threading a, an overlocker, they're also really good for putting your needles in and everything like that. Or if you're hand quilting and you need to pull, you need some leverage to pull your needle through the three layers of quilting like that. Then this is brilliant because your fingers aren't always strong enough and they slip off the end of the needle and everything, don't they? Grab this, pull it through. Uh, now what, what it is, is there's a little locking device. When you get yours home, don't be thinking, oh, mine won't open. Because when you then they're new, right, they, they come closed like that. And you're thinking, I can't open these, I can't open these. What you just need to do is just release by pressing 
or pulling the, uh, the, the two uh, arms slightly apart and it opens out. Uh, also brilliant for stuffing small uh, little, what am I worried of? I nearly said small animals then, I don't mean small animals. Soft toys, soft toys. Yeah. Uh, Eight ninety nine. Uh, who's it? Who's it from? What's her surname? Oh, um, uh, Julie, they've not upset us at all, Julie. Why do you think you've upset us? Uh, is everything all right, Julie? Yeah, uh, we've got so many gremlins in the building. Um, we haven't. I, we, I don't think we got your first. We didn't get your first message, so we've just had the message now from Julie saying, "Oh, I'm sorry if I upset you." I don't know what you said. I mean, I might be upset if you said, John, you're looking ever so fat and old and ugly today. Might be a little bit upset. I know it's the truth always hurts, but you know what I mean? No, but you haven't upset us, don't worry. We're not upset. Cat's drinking Intenso coffee today, so she's very happy today. And she has to keep running for, to have a tinkle all the time because it's three shots, but she's drinking a litre of it. There won't be three shots in a litre. It'll be as strong as a three-shot espresso. That's what it'll be. Right. Eight ninety nine. These are Bronwyn, Bonada Bronwyn. I lived near identical twins called Bronwyn and Gwyneth. They were ginger twins. I also use the felt page in my quilters book to pin blocks. I've had mine for ages and I love it from Bronwyn in Cathilly. Oh, I'd never even thought about. It. I always think about putting your block on the sandpaper and putting the fabric over it. Didn't think about pinning to it. Good idea, Bronwyn. Jochenvauer, Jochenvauer. Right, I don't know how Kat knows this, but she says you're going to see these needle grippers in a lot of shows in the coming future. Have you? They might have all sold by then. You can't say no star yet, it's only 20 past nine. <laughs> Good night, it means. Anyway, keep going through for these, keep going through. Oh, oh, you had me, got me all a bit, what, discombobulated then? Anyway, oh, I've, 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 sorry. Claudio Lugley, this shirt is. Right, okay, I've got two scrap bags from Living in Loveliness. The gorgeous Kerry in Living in Loveliness. Liberty. Oh, okay, you get 50 grams of fabric. It's completely random, so I'll show you this, but I can't guarantee that's what you'll get. 50 grams. So you get this one. Oh, they're decent sizes, look. Oh, they're with the fabric. They're like, they're like very, oh no, hang on. I might be telling a lie there. Now, I can't guarantee this is what you get. They're like fat, they're, hang on, they're fat eight, uh, fat eight C's, aren't they? Oh no, hang on, because that one's a bit smaller. So it's just scraps of fabric, look. I can't guarantee you'll get this one, but they're all Liberty fabric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, we haven't picked out the best one to show you. This is just one that got sent by um, the, our warehouse to us. So what you get, you get 50 grams of fabric. This was Liberty fabric. Because Now, if you buy the Liberty... Oh, excuse me. If you buy the Liberty one, scrap bag, you will get Liberty fatten, fattens. What is wrong with us all today? No, the strawberry moon was last week, wasn't it? Maybe Mercury's gone into retrograde today or something. We're having trouble with communication. Anyway, you get if you buy this, you will get 50 grams of Liberty fabric. It's not lawn. It is the co quilting weight cotton. <laughs> the moon is in its third quarter today, apparently. Does that make any difference to why things go wrong? I think it's a Tento, a cat's Intenso coffee, so I'm not helping. Paul's having a lovely day. It's a nice day out for Paul, though, isn't it? Finally back into stock. Oh, oh no, no, no. Cat thinks she's now producing a student. What happens is Cat, Cat's a brilliant producer, right? 
But when she's had coffee, she thinks she's sitting here, right? So she doesn't just go, John, price, John, amount, John this. She's like, so beautifully packed and lovingly packed by Kerry and her family in the warehouse in Warwickshire. She's doing that, which it is, but you don't have to give it, you know. She, when we had a panel the other day and she was, I'd said, it's got the instructions on the panel. She said, and it's all the instructions on the panel, John. I said, you've just said that, Kat. Then tell me the, the instructions are on the panel, John. I've just said that, Kat. She'll, she'll calm down in a minute. Well, Paul, don't you be doing that. Paul's producing me one day this month. I've got a message from Emma. Morning, John. I had my second jab yesterday. I'm feeling under the weather. Oh, no. So cheering myself up with a bowl of porridge. Oh, that's hardly cheery, is it? And watching you on the telly from Emma. Oh, Emma, you take care. Hannah's had her first jab and, she was, and they went on a date. She and her boyfriend went on a... Went on a date to have their jabs done. Oh no. But she had to fill a form in, right? When I went and had mine, I didn't fill any form in. So anyway. Oop, you're back. Who's that from? Gillian's just gone, oop, you're back. Oh, on Facebook. Are we back on Facebook? Oh no, we're not back on Facebook. Oh, here we go. Have they arrived? Elliot's smiling. Blimey. Oh, it's a, it's a grimace. Oh, he's got wind. He's got trapped wind. Sorry, trapped wind. Right, here we go. So what makes this one then? This is your um, Riley Blake scrap bag. What? Is it working? Not yet, not yet, not yet. So look, you get 50 grams of Riley Blake fabric for this one, eight ninety nine. Chicka chicka, boom boom. Right, Annie O says, great show on my mum's Facebook page. Can you wish happy birthday for Sunday? Uh, Annie O, love from Laura. Hang on. Great show. I'm on my mum's Facebook page. Can you wish her a happy birthday for Sunday? Well, I'm here on Sunday. I'm, doing, I'm on my own all day on Sunday. Anyway, Annie O, lots of love from Laura. And Glennie says, good morning. What? I'll wait till I've got it. Yeah, it hasn't come up on my screen yet, though. Yep, Facebook, YouTube, and thank you, Elliot. Facebook, YouTube, and the web are now working. So should we start all over again? Today's early bird is, well, oh, she's now singing Sound of Music, yeah. Facebook is working, YouTube is working, and the picture on the web is now working. Oh, I've got three days of this. Princess says hello, Claire says hello. Message from Maxine, we have lift off. Well, we did. Good morning, John, from Maxine in Windsor. Maxine, it's working, it's all working now. It's all working. Brilliant. Oh, it's funny, isn't it? Now, there's loads of you got things in your basket. Make sure you all check out now. Julie says, good morning. Well done, team. Glennie says, yay. There. Susie says, hello. Glad you're back. Rita says, John, welcome back. Maureen says, at last. More, another, oh no, Margaret says, good job, guys. Kate says, hurrah. Suzanne says, good morning, John, the team. Loving your shirt. Judith says, you popped up on Facebook. Uh, Judith's been broken all day. That's why. Glennie says, good morning. Thought it was just me. Claire says, morning, John. Well done, Elliot. Lovely shirt. How do you know what he's got on? Uh, right, we've had a brilliant morning so far, but make sure you go back and have a look at what we've got for sale. Look on the web in case you've missed anything. We've had Catherine's table runner. We've had an early bird of a friction pen, which is half... Uh, should we do it? Actually, let's do it. Here's the website. So this is what you've missed. This is what you could have bought, but you still can buy. Scrolling down. Look at today's show deals. So look, right, so there are some Living in Loveliness scrap bags. You've got the quilting needle grippers. You've got the quilting mat there. That, now, a couple of the iron are still left. They haven't checked out. There you go. There's the kits from earlier. Half the stock. Now, that book, if you weren't watching earlier, that book's meant to be $18.99. So goodness alone what knows why we're selling it for $9.99. There you go. Graphics going in very quickly. Oh, hang on. There you go. It's working. While you check out on that, uh, 
Oh, hey, go. Loads of people coming through now. Woohoo! Misty John says, Princess. Uh, Willow says, Oh, glad it wasn't just me. Donna says, Hello, John and team. Kath says, Morning. Uh, I was watching you on Lowe's TV. What are you doing at Lowe's house? Lynn says, What have I missed? Good morning. We're just showing you, Lynn. Morning, says Paula. Well done. Lowe says, Morning, John. Look how much you've been missed. Ah. Oh. Sue says, Hannah probably had to complete a form before a jab because it was a walk in centre. How do you know where she went, Sue? Was it a walk-in centre? I don't know where it was she went. Willow said, so who was late for work? No, we were all here. Oh, thank goodness you're back. I've almost started some housework, says Roxana. Jenny says, yay. Crazy, Crazy Lorraine says, yay, back. Right, let's get on. Here we go. That was the book we had earlier. Right, let's move on. We've got two seam guides. If you're making half square triangles, you know when, they, when a designer comes in, so it's an easy way to do half square triangles. What you do is you put two squares together, you draw a line through the middle, you say a quarter of an inch inside. You don't need to do that now. Which one would you like to do first, Cats? The big one, right? There's a big one and a small one, I'll just tell you. So this is your 15 incher, right? I uh, don't know why there's a question mark. It's not, if they're not asking you if it's 15 inches, it is 15 inches. <coughs> right, so at the end here, you have a pointy bit, which you match up with the corner of your square. Then you've got a, a groove down the middle where you can mark, if you want to, your centre line. But what you do is you draw down this side, you draw down that side, and there are your two lines that you need to sew down. It saves so much time, I can't tell you. Now, this one goes up to 15 inches. What's the matter, Paul? That's your 15 incher. Then we've got a 9 incher. It looks a bit smaller than that. Nine inch. Same thing. Groove down the middle, two lines either side for you to sew down. Is Jeremy Joe working today, Cat? No, I don't mean here, I mean in life. We could come and do his prep today and get everything ready today, couldn't we? Fourteen ninety nine. He's a what? Oh yeah, where is he today then? He's elsewhere today. Can't come in today. Fourteen ninety nine for your nine incher. I've got more rulers coming up later in the hour. They're all over there. They're all on that side. Got extra wide back on now. When we launched these, these were so popular. On my birthday? Oh, were they all on my birthday? I only remember the floral ones. Yes. This fabric is 108 inches wide. It's 100% cotton. Lovely, can make bedding, a duvet cover out of it, make sheets out of it. Oh, Geraldine says those rulers are very useful when doing half square triangles. Missed you. I've only been gone an hour, Geraldine. An hour and a half. Well, I'm right thirsty. Have a look at this. I don't know how I'm going to cope on Sunday when it's just me. Beautiful. 108 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight cotton. You can make dresses out of it if you wanted to, if you love it so much. You can make bedding out of it. You can make lovely um, vanity units for your, for your bedroom, for your boudoir. Yeah, if you've got the books from early, you can make a blind with it. Hooray, my John's got alarm clock's working again. Thanks, Kat, Emma and Elliot. Oh, there's no Emma today, it's little Paul today. It's little Paul Derek today. He's very hurt. Oh, moving on already. Cat's in a speedy Gonzalez mood now. There's nothing come up. Oh, there it is. It's, it's Paul in uh, capital letters. Don't upset him, Derek. It's not worth it. I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> Look at this, not me. 
Right, <coughs> right, I'm back. I'm back with that lovely colourway. This isn't it? Beautiful, soft, beautiful bedroom um, colour covers. Beautiful. What's the matter, cat? Good morning, little Paul says Derek. Thank you, he says. Oh dear me. I know, it's only half nine. I thought it was nearly going home time. If you've just joined us, I do apologise that we had no YouTube or Facebook or on the web for the first hour and a half. It's fine now. And of course now it's got incredible, it's already been busy, but it's got incredibly busy now. So if you've got things in your basket, you do need to check out, especially the book in the first hour. Uh, the book in the first hour, they are flying out. Which, because it should have been 18 99 goodness knows why Paul... Barry the book buyer, Barry the book buyer charged uh, that much. Anyway. Beautiful, this 108 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight cotton, use it to make dresses with, dungarees. This is the Amelia, oh it says it's in cream. It's green, I don't know, it's like a pale apple green. Do you remember back in the day when we used to have um, taste, no, oh no, what were they called? It wasn't taste of. They used to do these paints, Dulux used to make these paints and it was like something of apple and something of primrose and it was like a really, really gentle, no, it was um, touch, was it touch? Sue says, do you mean you've got no producer or director on Sunday? No, Sue, I've got no guest demonstrators. Willow says, it's so annoying I'm so, in, it's so annoying. We tune my TV but can't get your eyes off them. That's nothing to do with us. It's not us. It's the supplier of Freeview. So hundreds of people have got us back who've lost us. So I don't, I don't, I think it's because they go from one supplier to another. But I don't quite know why some people get it and some people don't. Other extra wide backing for this hour because I've got more coming up later. This looks like a William Morris, doesn't it? Beige. Well, what do you call it, beige? Mm, I'm not sure. A hint of, thank you, that's what it was. A hint of, thank you. Lynn, oh yes, Linda. Oh, Willow knows it's not us, that's right. Oh, Marcy's joined us. Paul's got sapphire paint in his bedroom. Is it dark blue? Oh, okay. Uh, morning, gorgeous John Scott and the Sewing Street crew. Back to work today after self-isolating some months since Monday. I really miss being a lollipop lady and being able to chat to the parents, but made great use of the extra time to watch Sewing Street. Got you finally, says Laurie. Morning, John and T. Morning, Laurie, my lovely. Laurie, your hydrangea is doing so well. I meant to take a picture of it yesterday afternoon to show you. Thank goodness it's Friday, says Ian. Great to see you all back on our screens. Thank you. Doing some threads next. No. I've had these before. Yeah. The recycled ones, definitely. Oh, oh. Now I might have had them at sewing quarter. No, 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 I've had them here. I've had them here. You don't recognize them. Look, 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 let me show you what I've got. Now, Kat and I have got a rainbow show next week. These would have been perfect for that. Yeah. Because it was my birthday last week. You were here, Paul. These are recycled polyester. I know. I'll show you on the back here. It says, oh, 20 reels of sew all thread made from 100% recycled polyester. Look, from bottles. So a thousand of those no. One of those makes a thousand meters of that. That's good, isn't it? Microcore technology. We love nature from Gutemann Creative without an E. This is the biggest pack we've got. Morning, John team. Post you just been. Please say I got my order from your birthday show and it was nice to see your smiling face when I opened it. Was it all crumpled? Was it all crumpled? 
Cat doesn't say, Cat just said that's what we say every morning. It's not what she says every morning. I, I arrived this morning, her car was already here and I was about two minutes early and I thought, oh, she'll have unlocked already. I got out of the car and she was still sitting in the car watching a video. I know. It's five to six, she wasn't getting out of her car till six. Who do you think you are, little Paul? Luce this morning, lovely, love your shirt. Won't be able to watch tomorrow as I'm having a spinal procedure. Oh, Lucy. We'll record when I'm at home. When's Hannah's 30th? It's on the 8th. Or is it the 9th? 8th, 8th of July. I've got to go, oh, I've got to go to Worcester to buy her a present. I know, she's not the easiest person to buy for. You think I'm difficult to buy for? <gasps> Margaret's bought her the best present ever. I know what she is, she doesn't know yet. She's going to be on air. She's made, has she made, she's made an advert, hasn't she? Is it play? It's, it won't be going out yet. It's too early for it to go out yet. No, it won't be going out yet. Won't be going out yet, but she will. Yeah, she's in on it. They came in and said to her, oh, we're doing a special. No, no, but Paul, she, they came into the gallery and said, oh, we can do a special day on your birthday. You can go on air and everything like that. And she went, oh, good. Went, I'm off on my birthday. She's not now. She had to swap with cats. These are $14.99. They are uh, recycled. That's what I couldn't think of the word. Well, they're pastels, but that one at the end there is a bit bright for a pastel, but they're all pastel. All like four left, that's all. Four left, four left. They've only ever been on air twice before. Oh, the low. She doesn't wear any jewellery. She doesn't wear, doesn't wear jewellery, does she, Hannah? She doesn't wear any jewellery at all. No, I know what she wants, but I rang, I rang up the shop and I said, how much is that? Da, 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 I won't say in case she's watching at home. They went, it's 70 pounds. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll get back to you. Which one? Brights? They're nice, aren't they? Rainbow threads, all recycled polyester. Chicka chicka, boom boom, 100 metres on each one, remember? Four, well, it's 149, a small, is it? One, two, three, four. Yeah, 180 you normally pay for them, and for a normal one, not just a recycled one. Didn't Hannah present some live shows on Sewing Quarter? She came on every now and then. She, they, we, when we were at Sewing Quarter, we did designer takeovers, and the designers came on. She did one with me, and then I think she's done one here when somebody was poorly. Oh, and Vix was poorly, yeah. Um, she covered for Vix, yeah. Yeah, Paul did it as well. I think that different people are packing my photograph in the warehouse because some people are saying their photograph arrived all wrapped in cardboard and other people say it was just crunkled at the bottom of the bag. It's obviously different people packing it. Now, what have they called this then? Utility? Oh, no, assorted, assorted. Sorted. You will get these colours. It's not random assorted. You will get these colours. Oh, hang on. Let's do a book. <coughs> right, I'm going to keep that one when I go over there. Right, which ones would you like? Fantastic stash quilts, or would you like quilts you can make in a day? Annie's quilting books are always so popular, I can't tell you. We do Annie's quilting, Annie's sewing, Annie's knitting, Annie's crochet. Very popular, and the price is always amazing, isn't it? 14 projects in this one. Everything from table toppers to bed quilts. That's nice, isn't it? So there's your jelly jar runner. Log jam table topper. Well, it's like a log cabin, isn't it? But Splitting airs. Monocrate. Paul says he'd love to have split airs. Monochromatic table runner. You had your hair cut? We've not noticed. Paint chips. Have you got it in a ponytail today, then? Oh, how weird. Cats had... I normally notice things like that straight away. 
She's had her hair dyed and cut. English Garden. Didn't notice. Sorry, Kat. Oh, you did. You did. I thought you were just in there making, a, making an appointment. Anyway, back to the book. Zoo review. Leaf the caterpillar. Right, morning, John. Love the shirt. It's Hannah the girl with the masses of beautiful curly hair. I'm jealous. Yes, that's her. Mind you, so has Emma, but you'd never know it because Emma wears her scrape so tight up you would never know she had lots of hair. And then when she lets it down, it's about that long. Yeah. Marilyn. Morning all, just thought I'd let you know that the So Home book, by 18, yeah, no. I know, 18.99 on Amazon, and it's meant to be 18.99, because it says on the back. There uh, we go, so there's a picnic season. Oh, hang on, what's that coming in there? Oh, that's that book we're just talking about there, right? Charming Chains, that's a lovely one, isn't it? Exploding Block. Oh, Nurse Julie, how are you, my love? Morning all, Nurse Julie here, home for having a full foot reconstriction. Ooh, this made me go a bit, did a lot of pain. Happy to see you on, oh, Julie. Sending lots of love, get better soon. Don't put your foot, put, put, uh, don't put any weight on it yet. Eight ninety nine. Blimey, Paul, no wonder the NHS is going bankrupt. Paul's had uh, something down his throat, he's had an injection in his gum, and he's had an, oh what? X-ray on his knee and his hip, well that's because he's old. And uh, he's going to have an MRI scan next. He, it's when he used to, when he used to be booked, I haven't done the other book. Other book, Fantastic Stash Quilt, Eight Projects, Two Ways of Using a Yardage, or Scraps. This is a beautiful book, this one. Here we go. Well, I went to the optician. I'm picking up my new glasses on Monday. And I went to the optician. I said, I've had, I have bought some of these multivariofocals from you last time I was in. And he, looked, he kept looking at the screen and looking at his assistant. I said, I bought them from you last time I was in. I did, I did. And he went, Mr. Scott, that was 2014. You bought those? I was like, oh, okay. Right, Betsy's Quilt. I love this one. Betsy's Quilt. Spinning triangles. Chain and bar. Confetti. Yeah, what's up? Nothing's up with me. I'm all right, Jack. Snowbirds. Safe travels, Paul. Flower garden. Wishing rings. Beautiful. I love that one. How much is it? Twelve ninety nine. Right, let me tell you, it's meant to be fifteen ninety nine. I oh, know, Barry's on one now. Big hug to Nurse Julie from one nurse to another. I'm sure your colleagues will look after you. Ah, oh, Geraldine, you're very kind. Magnetic pin dish. Oh, there it is. You don't even have to do what? Oh, no. Super stronghold. Comes with three pins, maybe blue ones, maybe not. Basically, it's a dish and it's magnetic inside, but also... It, the magnet works on this side as well, so if you want to attach it to a met something metal. What, what? What? There's nothing here. No. The trolley's are over there. Fantastic if you drop your pins. I'm just closing it. Well, I wouldn't say they were matching, Kat. Rose gold, oh, they've come loose as well. Right, in this set, let me take that, let me take that slider thing off for you first. Oh, I'm not doing very well, am I, this morning? There we go, look. 
In this set, you get a pair of shears, you get your little Victoriana snippers, you get some gold-headed pins, not real gold, they're plastic, and you get a little thimble. 19.99. Not real gold. Nineteen ninety nine. Oh, there's been another one. I can't say it on air, Paul. There's been another one of those. I'll tell in the break. I'll tell you. Nineteen ninety nine. We do these in a gilt colour as well. Not that kind of gilt, not like Paul's gilt. These Millward, Millward. Same thing, silver, silver coloured scissors, silver little snippies, uh, pins and thimble, 19 99 Millward. And then in rainbow, now these are different. This is different set, this one, because, oh, it won't come off. Yeah, all right. <laughs> now, if David Putnam was here, he'd be saying, time is money, John Scott, time is money. There you go. So you get your rainbow scissors, like your electromagnetic thingy and then you get the little stalk scissors now these are shiny they're matte just so you know anyway I've got the whole other table to do <laughs> should we go now you sure oh did you hear my hip click then Bozel's back in stock, everybody. Oh, now that, that's not for sale. That's my glasses holder that Gerardine bought me. Right, single-sided Bozel. This has got, this is always the most popular. It's got um, adhesive when you iron it on on one side, but not on the other. I'm not going to get it out because you know what it looks like. How much do you get in there? Oh, I will get this one out. You get half a metre. Oh, it's cut off the bolt for you. Are you sure? Right. It's cut off the bolt for you. That's half a metre. Look how wide it is. Lovely. We cut that off the bolt. They're normally pre-cut, aren't they? But that one's cut off the bolt for you. So if you want two metres of it, you will get a piece that's two metres. Normally, I'm saying, aren't I, you get separate ones in here, but you don't on this one. It's me. Is it? That's 60 inches wide. Yeah, 60 inches wide, that one. How long what, did you say, Paul? Oh, don't. It gets worse before it gets... And then she has a coffee crash later. Yeah. Loads of people come in for that one. Well done. Then we have our sewing version, which is... Yep, this is sewing. So this has no adhesive element to it whatsoever. It looks a different weight as well. By the half metre. Oh, no, it's the same. It's the same. By the half metre. I'm not getting that one out. 10 99 for half a metre. How much was the sticky on one? Sorry, I forgot. That. Okay, 10 99 Okay, and then I've got the... Double-sided. Now, make sure when you read your pattern so you know if you need double-sided, single-sided or sewing. It's really important because you could ruin a whole pattern if you buy the double-sided and you only need single-sided. Most people buy the sewing or the single-sided. but This one is good for other projects. Don't get me wrong. But just make sure that you get it for the right one. Yeah, Paul would have the single. Eleven ninety 
We also have some Bosel tape. Right, this is for something completely different. It's made by Bosel, but don't use it with this. Do not use this. You use it with batting, right? This is when you have, you know you have your pieces of wadding and you haven't got enough to make the size of the corner. You just got a corner mixer. You, want to, you butt the edges up. You put this underneath and you iron it onto, uh, uh, you iron it onto your um, wadding or your batting. You get 11, oh, 10 yards on there. 10 yards of it on there. And it's nice wide. It's a nice wide one. Yeah? Loads, you get that one. It just means you don't get a bulky seam, which means when you're quilting it, you don't suddenly have to leap over a seam or anything like that. Right, extra large cutting mat is this one here by Millwood. I would turn it over for you, but I can't. It's got inches on one side and centimetres on the other. It's got your 60 degree, your 40 degree, 45 degree, sorry, and your 30 degree line. You've got self-healing going on in there. Please always keep your mat as flat as you can. Don't roll it up. And it's just brilliant. Well, how big is it? It's 22 by 34. 90 by 60 in centimetres. Uh, nail word, extra large cutting mat in green. Teddy comes in green. Stripology ruler. Oh! Now this wasn't in last week. No, this isn't this isn't this isn't Stripology Square. That I've got here. Stripology Square's on the floor over there. This isn't strip this is not Stripology Square, this one. This is Stripology Square. No, this is the one with the square, because you need to have the squares on it. No, that's the XL down there. This is the stripology square. Because what you get on this one is not only do you get your strips, you can also square off blocks on this one as well. That's what this one. Oh, no, it says, it says XL on it. But this is definitely the square one. What measurements does it say? No, oh, oh no, hang on. That, that says 12 and a half inch in the, um, in the graphics. Hang on, I don't know if this is the right ruler. Yeah, it is, 12 and a half, there's your 12 and a half inch square on that side. Yes, it is, it is. That's the biggest block you can do, your 12 and a half inch block. It is the right one. Yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. You can't see, look, because on the back of here, you've got, your white you've got your white squares on that side, you've got your black squares on that side. The biggest block you can cut, you see, is a 12 and a half inch block, so it is the right one. It's just a bit annoying cause, because what we do is we do the um, square one in a mini as well, that's all. But this is this, definitely this one. Fantastic. Well, who used it the day? Emma Bradford used it the other day, didn't she? Brilliant for cutting your strips. Hmm? Oh, yeah, when Emma was using it the other day, they absolutely flew out. It is a ruler that does, um, does uh, um, warrant a demonstration, really. Big ruler next. Oh, there we go. This is your eight inches by 24 and a half inches. This is Emma's favorite ruler. Eight and a half inches wide. 24 and a half, so you can, you can cut across width of fabric if you fold it in half. Uh, if, you block, if you're cutting off blocks, you can go to an eight and a half across here. Again, you've got your angles on. Think about stripology, the unique quality of stripology. Ask uh, Gerardine, she's got every single one. They Underneath, they've got this kind of uh, painted like, little grip, so it doesn't move on your fabric. It moves like this, when you but then once you put your hand down like that to start cutting, it doesn't move at all. They are brilliant. Everybody swears by them. It's worth paying that little bit extra for something that's going to last and last and last. All you've got to do is not do what Wendy Orlando did and let your husband tread on it and break it. Well, she didn't let him. I've got to... Now, this is... Now, who was in... Uh, someone was in the next day. Was it Susie Duncan saying this is her favourite ruler? I can't remember. What's Susie Duncan that loves this little ruler? 14.99 for a creative grids. That's good. 
Six and a half by 12 and a half again. Maybe you've got your angles, your 45 degree, your 60 degree. You've also got all your half inches in your black and your solid inches in your white. You've got a quarter inch seam allowance down that side. You've got half an inch seam allowance down this side. Does so much, again, it's got the little uh, grippy uh, pads on to keep it, stop it from slipping. That's really good value, that 14.99 for creative grids. Right, so now, now I need to point this out to you. We've got these ruler um, storage units. We've got a small one and we've got a big one, right? Now, don't check out on this yet. Do not check out on this yet. Here's the small one, 10.99. So you get four slots. You get four slots. It's made of beech wood. It's got the little um, things on the bottom, the rubbers on the bottom, stop it sliding anywhere. And it's a really, really lovely way to store your, I've just put the rulers on the floor, but store your rulers like that. Right? Now, we've got a bigger version with five slots, twice the size, right? Wait till you see the price. How much was that one? 10 99 How much is this one? 11 99 Just think, makes no sense, Paul. Makes no sense. So that's 10 99 That's 11 99 Now, maybe you've only got a small space and you want to, ah, you want to put that one in, right? But this one, you could put your small ones and your big rulers on this one, couldn't you? You don't like what, Paul? No, splinters. It's not a splinter, it's just a scratch, that's all. Uh, anyway, £11.99. These, these sell out, this one always sells out quicker, obviously. I mean, there's, there's nothing, I'm, I'm not trying to diss this one, but if you're going to pay, if, if, you, if you've got the space, money, for, value for money, yeah, this is brilliant if you've got lots of little rulers, you just want to keep your little rulers in there, or you've only got a little amount of space. This one, you can keep little ones in this as well, as your big ones. Right, coming up after the break, Catherine's back. She's going to be making her very own design. They're back. Right, now you can buy the instructions on their own, or we've got three different bundles for you. It's a, a scrap buster, stash buster, scrap buster. Anyway, we will see you and Catherine. And, and now you're all back on Facebook. You'll all be able to see Catherine now for the first time in her lovely new frock. We will see you in three minutes from now. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hi, I'm Wendy Orlando and I'm a craft blogger. You can find me over at thecraftyco.com and if you do head on over and have a peep, you will see that I'm a tutorial blogger. I do all kinds of crafts, but my passions are crochet, knitting and sewing, which I've done for over 45 years. In that time, I've made lots of mistakes but I have learnt lots of tricks and top tips that I can't wait to share. What I'd like to bring to the Sewing Street table is to show that you don't need to have gone to university or have a degree in design to be able to sew. You just need passion, a bit of courage to take the first steps and a whole lot of patience. Oh, and an unpicker. You will need an unpicker. I do hope that you will follow me as I take my Sewing Street journey and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. 
And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Thank goodness for Catherine, that's what I'm saying. Like, Paul went off to make a cup of tea and then uh, Kat was doing something in there. And me and Kat, Kat, Catherine brought all the stuff out, unloaded, cleaned the table and everything. She's fantastic. Anyway, 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 we're going to be making this in this hour. It's just Catherine's very own design. It's the crazy patchwork craft bag. Uh, and it's lovely. Paul took a few pictures of it. There's a closer upper one there. And there's a wide one. So now, why is it called? I'm going to ask Catherine. I'm going to go to Catherine. Why is it called a craft bag for us? Well, I designed it to put your projects in. Right. If you turn it around, if you look, there's a um, a pocket, and I put, oh, it, I put yes. it on the back because I tend to stuff everything in big bags, and then I, papers get scrunched up. Yeah, don't they? yeah, yeah. So yeah. I put my pocket on the back so I could put my patterns out of the way of all the rest, and then all your everything else, goes everything inside. else can go inside and then you put a thing across the top to think, stop things falling out yes and it's quite voluminous i won't go in it because you've got a kind of christmas panel in here <laughs> i think what? i think paul put that in oh, so had it i out. thought that we, was you might have brought some of your christmas <laughs> no. shopping with you but, um, it's but quite yes voluminous, you get quite a lot of yes. material and yeah. things like that in perfect um and there is an option in the instructions um to put in like an elastic bit so you can put tools in oh perfect Perfect. Okay, right. So what we've done today is we put together three bundles for you. But I, I shouldn't really say this. What I would do is I'd buy the pattern, I'd buy the uh, fat quarters, and I'd buy the kit and make do it with or, or use my own fabric and things because that's what it's all about, isn't it? So I'm not trying to put you off by any means, but just saying, just saying, because you might have your well, you, you've just made like a couple of Liberty dresses, a couple of Liberty quilts. You're going to have a few Liberty fabrics. You're bound to have some stash, aren't you, around the place to create it with. I'm just saying, I'll get told off for saying that, but... Right, first kit is Riley Blake. The blue one. This, this, this one here. Hang on, these have all fallen off. Right, so what you get in the bundle is you get the instructions, obviously. You then get a metre and a half of your beige, which is your lining and part of the front panel and the pocket at the back. Then you get four fat quarters. You get the navy. You get the beige, you get the cre uh, blue flowers, and you get the pale blue. Then you also get, now, you get the two big swivel clips, there for where your strap attaches. You get your little swivel clip, which is for the one going across the top of the bag. You get the little D-rings. Now, I know they're a different kind of gold. You get your little D-rings for where it goes across the top, and you get your big D-rings for where the straps attach to the bag which is, I'll explain all that in a second. So that's all of that. 
for £39.99. Okay, now it should be £44.99, but for some reason, Kat's reduced the price for you. I don't know. That's what she did. She had some coffee and she made some decisions. So that's the blue one, right? The green one that Catherine's about to make. Well, actually, we call it green, but isn't it misty blue? It's mi this is, right. So you get your pattern, obviously. You get your metre and a half of misty blue. Then you get your misty blue fat quarter. You get your floral fat quarter. You get your other floral fat quarter. And you get your other floral fat quarter. This is Popple Cotton by Crazy... Uh, Popple Cotton. Poppy, not Popple. Poppy. Looks like an L from here. Doesn't that look like Popple to you? Yeah. Is there a... No, it was fine. Is it an I? I eat it, yeah, they go. 39 uh, You get all this as well. You get the furniture with it as well. You get your two big swivel clips, your small <laughs> swivel clip. You get your D-rings and your small D-rings. Again, I know they don't match. 39.99. And then our final bundle now, this one. We love this one. So, in, oops, in this one, oops, you get your pattern. You get your meter and a half of lemon splodge. You get four fat quarters, one of which is your lemon splodge, one of which is your dragonflies in bright yellow, one of which is your flowers in the fuchsia pink, and then one your dandelions in the blue. Then you also get your two big swivel clips, your little swivel clip, your D-rings and your D-rings. That's flowers in the wind, that one's called, flowers in the wind. Right. You can buy the pattern on its own. Do that first. You can buy the pattern on its own. Fourteen ninety nine. Now you may have your own stash at home. Now these, this, this is flying out already this morning. Apparently, this is very, very popular. Fourteen ninety nine. Magic with all. You don't have to stick to four fabrics. You can do as many as you want, as long as you've got a meter and a half of plain fabric for your lining, which you can buy on our website. You might have in your stash or whatever. That's all you need. I mean, not all you need because you need your, your hardware and everything like that. But fabric wise. Use your fav favourite, yeah, yeah, use planes and put in some Liberty scrap bag or, in. or how big are the pieces got to be? Oh no, you, I was going to say if you've got the motor scrap bag, but they're all two and a half inches wide, aren't they? But anyway, 14 99 very, very popular. Now what you will need if you do that is you will need some hardware. Now, this is what I would do. This is my own person because I like silver hardware on the bag, silver coloured hardware on the bag. This is nickel, right? The whole bundle, right? So you get your two lots of D-rings, you get your two big swivel clips and you get your one small clip. Then it all matches then, doesn't it? Eight pounds and 49 pence. Sorry, I missed that the way. Eight pounds and 49 pence for that bundle. You see, I knew that. That's been popular already this morning. So you've got your fabric stash at home. Use this or use that. That's all you need, really. The thing is, it's what you want to make it, isn't it? You know, we've got some, uh, we've got some faux leather strapping here to make. You could make fabric straps if you wanted to. It's up totally and utterly up to you. Okay. Now I do have the uh, version in the gold and the bronze as well. I'm not. Are also very popular. You see, personally, well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure that I would mix them, you see, but lots of people like this because these are very popular as well. So there you go. You get your two big swivels, your small swivel in your bronze, and then your bright gold, you get your big D-rings, you get your little D-rings. Already selling on the website. Right, now, we also have, if you want to get the fat quarter bundles on their own, which I think will be very popular, I know somebody who's already bought a multicoloured one. We're going to start though with the Riley Blake, which is the blue one. So now you do get, so that's Riley Blake, that's Riley Blake, that's Riley Blake, that's uh, Rose and Hubble. Four fat quarters, 12.98. Beautiful. We are limited on these fat quarter ones, obviously, because we put them in the kit. This one here, I think is lovely. And I can tell you now, Catherine's already bought this one this morning. So you get the blue fat quarter, you get the pink fat quarter, you get the yellow fat quarter, and you get the lemon splodge flat, flat, fat quarter. Fat quarter. Not a flat quarter, a fat quarter. £12.48, pence. flowers in the wind. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. And then we've got one other um, fat quarter bundle. Well, it's almost only got... Th oh, no. Blue. Yeah, so you do get the misty blue fat quarter. Why is this one only 9 99 Okay. That one's only 9 99 for four... Four fat quarters. Lovely colours together, aren't they? Paul loves those colours together, he's saying, but please don't let that put you off. Uh, Susan says, not working on the website or YouTube. No, Susan, it is. It is, it is, it is. Everything's working. Uh, I'm on my way to the caravan in Dover, usually watching the car. Glad you're back on live. Morning, Catherine. You're looking beautiful, says Laurie. Love the look of this bag. That's from Laurie in Suffolk. It's nice. Thank it's a new you. frock, Laurie. She went out shopping, she went on spa day and got it. It was in the sale. <laughs> right, now I've got some, uh, well, I haven't got webbing. I've got faux strappage. Oh, we called it webbing for some reason. Right, which one would you like first? You see, oh, the multicolored one sold out already. I was about to say, if you've bought this one, then that's going to look lovely, but it's sold out, I'm afraid. But now here's the navy one. Here's the navy one. It's not webbing, it's f faux leather. It's one metre, you get one metre and it's 25 millimetres wide. That's the navy blue one. Forks leather, as little Paul would say if he was here. I'm sure I can hear him. They do come in one metre pre-cut pieces, so if you want two metres, you can have two metres, but they will be cut in the metre pieces. Right now. <laughs> okay, so I've got burgundy. Really, I'd never have guessed. 2 99 That's your burgundy. Yeah, I'd put that with this bundle as well here, that one. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Then I've got caramel. $2.99. Gorgeous. And then last but not least, chocolate. Now, it's a, it, I'd say it was um, a kind of, um, not what you'd expect for chocolate, that one. Cheap chocolate, Paul said. Hershey's Kisses chocolate, this is. And then the only other thing I've got to say to you is you might need a little bit of premium craft wadding, which you might already have at home, but if you haven't got any, then we've got it here for you. 5 99 Beautiful. Shall we finally start the demo? I think this is lovely. I think Thank it's a you. really lovely pattern. So, oh, now, you, you, Catherine has been on. You've done this before, haven't you? I have done this once before, yes, with Wendy. With Wendy. And with what Wendy. date was that then, Kat? She'll just check for us now. Okay. Because you're going to... So you when, when I was on before, I started right at the beginning and did a bit of a demo on how to start off your crazy patchwork. 23rd of April. 23rd of April. So um, today I've st already started and put some of my crazy patchwork together and I'm going to go through more of finishing this off and how to put the bag together. Okay, now the but other I'll day talk it through. we had Moda scrap bags which were all two and a half inches. Could you make it out yes. of two and a half inch strips? You could. Oh, so you if need you've got strips. the Moda crap scrap bags. Absolutely. So you can see on the table I have a bundle of strips. Yeah. I have cut up the fat quarters. Before I cut them up into strips, I cut a man I, you can get some pattern pieces out of your fat quarters as well. You've actually got lots of fabric. Okay. So, because I quite like that it doesn't all match and there's different bits in different colours. So, so where do those bits go? Those to are two of the side panels. Oh, okay. Um, the bottom, the base is just in the misty blue. Misty blue that's green. Yeah. And <laughs> and then my pocket I've got out of one of the patterns as well. Oh, okay. And then the rest I've cut up into randomly sized strips. So don't this is this is really don't have to be really precise about it. It's perfect patchwork for people who aren't very precise. Okay. Okay. So you can use all your scraps. It doesn't matter if they're different sizes, different widths. You start off in the middle with a five-sided shape. Now, 
again, it wants to be a slightly random five-sided shape. It doesn't want to be a very perfect pentagon. Okay. Because the idea is it's all juxtaposed. Yeah, because if it was perfectly proportioned, that means the whole of your bag is going to It won't look crazy. Look, no. It'll just look like a very smart uh, log cabin, yeah. five-sided log cabin, which is not what we're aiming for. People have a lot of trouble doing random things. Yes. So if you, I'm just going to show you how to cut a random five-sided shape. Okay, so there's not a pattern. In the there's no pattern, pattern for that bit, okay. no. So I, if, you, if you start with a square, yeah. cut one corner off, and then if you sort of take the sides up out at an angle, you've got a random five-sided shape. So you didn't touch one of those sides. One side stayed exactly as it yeah. was. Okay. Okay. So that's your starting point. So you start. You started with a two and a half inch square, roughly, did you? Roughly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But again, it can be any size yeah. you like. Well, yeah, but you don't want to start off with it like. But if it's really, really tiny, you don't know if it's too big. Yeah. You, you, you'll lose and, the and effect. And you also don't want it too small. Because you'll be there forever. Yeah. Um, then what you start to do is you start to attach on each side a little bit like if you're doing a log cabin. Mm -hmm. You go round once clockwise. And then you go around once anti-clockwise. Oh, okay. And then when you've done that, you have to cut it up again. <laughs> so then you cut it back into a different five-sided shape. Because if I kept the same shape going, I'd have all my seams in the same places oh, all the yes, time, wouldn't of I? So you trim it back, and I showed all this on Wendy's pro on yep. the program in April. Um, so you can see that I have done that a couple of times already. And the pieces that you trim off, yeah, because sometimes it grows in the wrong direction as well. If you've got different size bits, you've got a bit growing faster. So you can trim them off. The bits that you trim off like that, that are really nice, you can find somewhere and put them back on oh, again. Oh, yeah. And it looks really interesting then. You've got lots going on. What shape are we aiming for? So the shape we are aiming for is to fit the front of our back. Oh, okay. So here's your pattern piece. And that pattern piece is in there. All the pattern pieces are in there for all the different pieces, mm -hmm. absolutely. And for full instructions on how to do this. Brilliant. Okay. So I'm at the point where I've got to probably put one more round on yeah. and then see where we're at. So that's where we'll start. And I'm going to sew them on with, we'll put that one on this corner here because it goes nicely. Um, I'm going to sew them with quarter inch seams. But again, it's not terrifically precise. Uh huh. Yeah, so exactly. Maybe this is a good way one as a starter because you don't have to be so precise with it all. It actually works better the kind of more random you can be with it. Yeah. If you think about it very hard and try and make it all beautiful and matchy matchy, it's not as successful somehow. No. Message from uh, Kate. Just like life, Paul. Oh, has Kat got about that? Oh, yes, she is there. I, they knew, as a new quilt, this suits me well, and I have the rotating mat on its way to help me. Love the shirt, say, from Kate in Merseyside. Thank you very much indeed. So then, that's going to open out like that. Now, you can press as you go, but sometimes you're up and down and up and down, so you can finger press it. Yeah. Whichever suits you. Okay, so we're going to go along this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just trim off the bit that's not lined up. Now you uh -huh. see, when you start to get it bigger, you are needing quite long pieces by yes, this time. Yeah. You should be okay, but if you're not, you can join pieces together. That's, of course, yeah, that's yeah. okay. That's all right. Do you know what? If somebody who's just starting off, before they make your bag, maybe you can make a cushion cut, because they'd make lovely cushions, wouldn't they? It's really nice to do it as well for a plique. You yeah, can oh make yes. pieces, use your little pieces, and then cut a plique shapes out. I've got an idea in my head for a crazy patchwork quilt. It just hasn't come out. Yet. Oh, okay. Because I've not it's had time. Way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> not its time. Uh, what did you say, Kat? Now you weren't listening, Bev. What you do is you do one row going clockwise, and then you do the next row going anti-clockwise. Then you recut it after first two rows. Is that right? That is correct. And then you still do. Then you do another. Then you go again. Yeah. One row clockwise. One row anti-clockwise. And then trim it again. And yeah. Okay. So you just keep going until it's big enough. Until it's big enough on. to do with whatever you want to do. Absolutely. Let's see what I've got here. But make sure you cut out 
the main pattern pieces that you're going to cut out from your fat quarters before you just start randomly slicing it. Yeah, so you won't get everything out of your fat quarters and your front, yeah. but you'll certainly get some bits if you want to. But I wouldn't, if you, if you decide to kind of wait and see, cut up half your fat quarters into strips and then see what yeah. you've got left. You don't need all four fat quarters for um, the crazy bit. Yeah. I, mean, some, um, I have made this with some ladies in my, in my, they tested it for me, in my patchwork group. Uh -huh. And some of them carried on with the crazy patchwork and then used them for the other oh, pieces. Okay. So you can do that yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. So you can see, you're just going round, adding, and you're going right across each time, whichever side yeah. you're on. See if we're big enough. I quite like doing this, it's quite fun. You can just get your big bag. We've all got huge bags of scraps, oh, yeah. haven't we? Mine are in the garage. Pattern on the own, pattern on its own is the main graphic, and then the poppy cotton one is the one in there. How are we doing? We're very, very new. I'm going Oh, I think we're there, actually. I think we're big enough. OK. OK, so you keep going until you're big enough. Yeah. I'm just going to give it a press, and then we'll cut it out. And the most popular, do you know the most popular fat quarter bundle? The most po po popular bundle. Fat quarter bundle is the Brights, the one that Catherine's already bought. Fewer than 20 of those. Flowers in the wind, they're called. Turn it over, you can see how neat and tidy I am on the yeah. other side. Not too bad, not no. too bad. Okay. And it doesn't matter which orientation this goes on, because you've got seams go and um, biases going in all different directions. Absolutely. Grains going in all different directions, haven't you? Absolutely. So I'm going to cut this out, and then I'm going to attach a piece of wadding to it, and then you can have a bit of fun with it. Mm -hmm. So. If you look at the one you've got over near you, John, you'll see that where I've quilted it, I've used lots of different fancy stitches. Right. I'll let Paul get on. So it's Just quite, look. it's, if you've got a machine with lots of decorative stitches on, you can try them all out. Yeah. You can hand stitch. Oh, hang on, so you've gone there. There you go. Different um, decorative stitches there. That one's off, yeah. So you can, you can, you know, have a bit of fun with the quilting part of it. You can do as much as little or as little as you like. Yeah. You can hand stitch it if you want to. You can add buttons, you can add trims. Whatever takes your oh, fancy, yeah. really. See it there, yeah. Um, what you do need to be careful of, I imagine, though, is because you're now cutting through all your seams. So don't be aggressive with this piece because some of your seams could come undone, couldn't they? Uh, yes. I mean, it's it's still a fairly large piece. By this point, you've you've got quite big pieces on yeah. the end. So yeah, maybe just a little bit kind of here where yeah, you've got just, a just small piece. Yeah, you, just you've got aware. to be careful. Did you best press first? No. Okay. I didn't. But you could. No. All right, I'm going to get a bit of the older. Oh, here we go. Oh, I forgot to bring my. Fa I was going to bring my face mask in. Forgot <laughs> to bring my face mask in. Would you? It's good stuff, though, isn't it? It's yeah. good stuff. 505 spray that is. I'm not sure if we've got any in stock at the moment. No. OK. I'll st stick that on. Smooth it all out. I've obviously not cut my wadding quite to the right size, but we'll trim that down. That's all right. But that's OK. And then you can, you can literally do as much or as little as you like. So you can follow the lines. You can do crazy things on the lines. Mm -hmm. Just something to obviously hold it all together yes. but as much or as little as you like so i'm just going to do one or two straight lines today just to hold, it, hold together, it on, yeah. okay. and then we can carry on with the other bits lovely of the bag. uh susan says morning everyone just joining because you weren't on anything at eight well we were here but she's going to watch later she's going to watch the beginning later you could freemation it if you wanted it wanted to use yeah. it as a good way to practice that it's, um, you know, 
It's a chance to be a little bit creative. Absolutely. Or you can just stitch in the ditch or anything, really. Or echo the seams, do whatever you want. When I come on, John, often I do say I don't like quilting very much. I can just about cope with this sort yeah, of quilting. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of just You don't enough. like quilting very much, but you've got a whole quilt design in your brain ready to come out. <laughs> yeah, but it'll be mainly patchwork and not very much quilting. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, the, the thing is, they are two, two different things. They are they? two some, different things. Some people love the piecing and then cut. And that's where, you know, those long arm quilters like Amanda, you can send it away to and they can do all that for you if you yeah. wanted. Well, I'm, I'm talking about big quilts. I'm though. in that camp. I love yeah. the patchwork because it's all about putting the fabrics together and the colours, but quilting, no. Oh, well, we wouldn't all want to do the same thing. Obviously, this one you can't send this away because then you'd be waiting. No, you wouldn't make your but bag this, this isn't too big. I can cope with this, and if I can use all my decorative stitch, then I don't mind because yeah. it keeps it interesting. Uh, Glennis is waiting for our five oh five spray to come in, but don't we have the June Taylor spray, Cat? We've got the June Taylor version. If you want that. June Taylor quilt basting spray. It's on the website. There it is. Go to the website to get that. 10 ounces for 14 49 There we go. We'll do one more. And also that, that is covered in your free p, &P by the way. You, not free, not free, not free. Your daily p, &P Your daily p, &P. It comes within your daily p, &P. Your one, four, 395 post packaging for the day. <gasps> Yeah, you nearly got in trouble there. I will have got into trouble then. Yeah, they had shouted down my <laughs> ear the minute I said it. <laughs> All right, we'll just trim this back. So okay. you do as much as you want with that. Okay. So there, I've got my lovely bag piece. Okay. Right. Let's talk you through some of the other bits yeah. now. So this is my pocket. Now you could, if you, if you prefer it on the inside, you can put it on the inside. Okay. Oh no, no, you need but that. But I like it on yes, the outside. Yeah. Um, so it's, let me undo that to show you. So it's your front and your lining, and I've sewn it together at the top, pressed it down and top stitched it. And that's going on my bag back like that. And I'm just going to, I would machine tack it round. Okay. And it wants a nice little line down just to separate. You could, I mean, you can do it in the centre. Well, you I was can do say it off centre. Yeah. It, really? The one that's got the picture, uh, the picture on our actual pattern. Yeah. I've got it to one side. Oh yeah, it's about a quarter of the way across, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So again, you know, you can choose your personal preference, yeah. can't you? So we'll just machine tack that. Round. And you've got fabric on the back of that one. Oh, your pattern piece. It doesn't appear on the front. I think it appears on the bottom. Oh, okay. And on the possibly. Oh on yeah, the, on yeah, the yeah, on the bottom. Yeah. At the Emma that messaged in earlier about her jab was our Emma, Emma Bradford. We didn't see it. the one having porridge, right? We didn't know it was Emma Bradford. She was in the day before yesterday. She's come off her bike, hasn't she? Oh, Glynis says, thank you, but I want the 505. That's fine, Glynis, whichever, whichever one you prefer. I think last time it was in, I, I uh, bought, bought it, so it's probably my fault. OK. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so we'll just do a little central line to secure Just that. received a Carnaby Street fabric would be delicious for this bag. Oh, it so would. Have you seen the new Liberty range? We've had the new Liberty range in last week. Was Susie week. in with it the, the other day, wasn't yeah, she? Yeah, eight o'clock in the morning. It was brilliant. So much nice fabric. Mm. But this is good because you can use all your favourite, you know, if you've got all those little bits you've kept because you really like them. Yeah, yeah. And you can put them all in one you can. thing, can't or, you? Or if you love your, if you know you're going to use this bag all the time and you love your canopy fabric, make it out Absolutely. of something that's new that you've got half metres of because you can always use the rest of it. <coughs> for something else, can't you? That's right. Okay, so we're going to put our gusset together. Right. So there's two side pieces and a, a base. So they're going to just go together 
Uh, Has that got something here. on the back of it? I've interfaced okay, it. Okay, interfacing on the back of there. Yes. Just to give it a little bit of sturdiness, and it's just a medium weight yeah, interfacing. Yeah, the one we had in Catherine's last hour, yeah. Um, it's a one centimetre seam allowance. Uh-huh. Some of the fabrics are coming up in the next hour. It'll be lovely for this as well. Get the, get the bag, get the instructions. Get the instructions and do it in your own colourway. And then Paul says, could you send in the picture? You just tag him in on Instagram as the, un the underscore Duke, no, one, 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 one. Or if you want a date, you also message him on that. And if you want to go on one of his walks with him, because he goes on fantastic walks, doesn't he? Oh, he can't with his knee at the moment. Where does he go? Hmm? Where does he go? Well, he lives, he lives in Birmingham, in an area of Birmingham, but he's found all these incredible, like, canal, canal side walks and lakes and old buildings. And, he, and he's got just a phone camera, but it's obviously a brilliant phone camera because he takes the most amazing pictures oh. <coughs> of his walks and everything. Very good. I'm just pressing those seams open. Oh, there you go. One of them got shared by a B Visit Birmingham site. Mm -hmm. Got two and a half thousand likes. Should have charged for it, little Paul. Now, the way to get this to um, fit together is you're going to start at the top with it. Yeah. And um, pin these side panels first, because obviously we're making a straight thing go, go around a curve, yeah. aren't we? And a little bit at a time. When you get down to the seam, uh -huh. then pin the other side, oh, okay. and then you can get the base in. Right. If you carry on going round, you'll find it won't fit. But if oh, you do okay. it this way, you, and, you'll and get also, it right. And also, you have a, have a tendency to it'll push around and push around, and you'll end up not getting. Well, that's it right. right. Yeah. And if you do have a slight excess at all, you shouldn't have. But if if you do, you can ease it in yeah, into the bottom. Yeah, the curve. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to be doing easing on the flat straight seam. Well, Sue, we keep asking about this because Hannah wants it. Sue said, any chance the buying department could source the best press in other smells? Would love to try the Tropical Caribbean. That's the one that Hannah wants. She keeps asking for it. We will pass on. In fact, Paul's in today. I can ask him. Morning, John and Catherine. Just bought the pack for the bag with the added bonus. Okay. Thank you from Sue in Tamworth. You're more than welcome, Sue, my love. Oh, no. On, if you got my badge on my birthday weekend, there was a little present on the back of the badge, and she's used the present on the back of the badge. Who's, you, who's messaging from America? Kay, good morning from the USA again. Really loving the bag. It's 5.30 a.m. here. Wow. We'll catch up with the replay. Okay, thank you. USA. My um, nephew, George, has now left San Diego because he and his girlfriend have finished their degrees, but she's going to New York to do... Uh, and then, uh, is that the, ne the next one up from a degree anyway? Uh, and he's got his work permit. So they're doing a road trip from San Diego to New, they're not, li they're living in New York State at the top of New York State. Um, so doing a road trip, they're in New they were in Utah yesterday and now they're somewhere else. They bought a tent and everything. And then uh, she starts university and he'll start his job. Sounds very exciting. I know. My daughter, hopefully when she starts her college she's um she's going to do drama a level they get they do a trip to new york to go you have to pay for it well, i expect so yeah. <laughs> i might be here a lot more yes exactly. oh <laughs> I, I lived in new york for a year I loved was it, it. amazing I oh I lived i'd love to go to right. new york oh I just, and it was really when i first moved there i got a cab everywhere because i was terrified and one day when it was snowing i couldn't get a cab so i walked from my apartment on west 16th and 7th through to Hot broadway which is where i was working and it was just, it was like a film. It was just like wow. all the people roasting the horse chestnuts. You could hear choirs singing in churches. And it was like, I really? loved it. I walked everywhere, everywhere. Just ended up, I got an apartment in Greenwich Village in the end and just used to walk to work. I was always late for work. We'd walk to work and there'd all be the psychic stands and the little lovely shops. And oh, oh fantastic. Just, it's on my bucket list. Oh no, you've got to do it. To go. 
<laughs> I did say to her, see if they need any parents to come and yeah, help. Yeah, chaperone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, how old is she? 18? Yes. Yeah, so, yeah 16. Yeah. I think it'd cramp her style a bit, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, just a bit. Mind you, you see, my friend Dulcie, you know, as I told you this earlier this morning, my friend Dulcie got an award from Wellchild for, I nominated her for an award for um, fundraiser volunteer of the year last year because she raised all that money and did all the masks and everything. Anyway, she went for her award the day before, no, yesterday in Kew Gardens. Prince Harry was there. Oh, wow. And um, she, Dulcie's not a person that gets, because she works in the film industry, she, works, she meets famous Hollywood film stars all the time. She doesn't get flummoxed at all. The fact that Prince Harry was there and Ronnie Wood were there, she can't, she's beside herself. With, it's all over Facebook this morning. And Prince Harry took time to go and meet all, every single award winner. Every, he, they, they was all done COVID friendly and they were all sitting at tables. He moved between tables and everything. But he made, he made time to speak to every single one. So all these really pictures. Nice. And Dulcie, I couldn't go because I was supposed to be Dulcie's guest, but I was here. So I couldn't go. So um, Sadie, Dulcie's daughter, went with her. And there's pictures of them sitting there talking to Prince Harry. She said he was an absolute delight. An, a charming, lovely That's man. That's really nice. Okay, so we've got one side in, uh, and the obviously this is right sides together. Yeah. The other side is going to go in just the same. Okay. And I've done well. In fact, Helena, my daughter, under instruction, put this the lining together in exactly the same oh, way. Oh, brilliant! Just remembering to keep a little bit uh -huh. open on the side for when we bag it out. And you put interfacing on one of the sides I of put, that, Yeah, so I haven't interfaced the crazy patchwork bit, so that bit, I've interfaced one of the linings instead, so that will go against okay, perfect. the crazy patchwork. You've got 12 minutes left, just seen it. Okie dokie, gosh, it goes fast, doesn't, doesn't it? it? And doesn't help the clock's not working properly either. Yeah. It's going really fast, this one, this hour. It's funny that, isn't it, how some hours can go quicker than others. Yeah, exactly. Don't <laughs> you enjoying yourself, doesn't it? <laughs> Little Paul says the whole day's dragging for him. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Paul. No, no nothing personal. <laughs> no offence taken, of course. <laughs> Time is just a concept, apparently. No. Got yarn lane, got la yarn lane later, which is lovely. You've got three, you're doing that in cro three crochet, beautiful crochet throws. We have. Oh, yeah, you can't disappear off. You've got to stay. Uh, did he make you a cup of coffee? No. Oh. They're all busy out. They're a bit busy. Oh, out, are I they? Think, yeah. Busy? Is there a meeting going on? Uh, um, I don't know. Did I just waited quietly and in the green room. That's not I like thought you. I would be good. Uh, uh, <laughs> Lo says, oh, her books are being booked in again for next year, for this year. That's good, isn't it? She does some, um, like Paul McKenna, you know, hypnotises people. No, not, no, where are you going? Then they go, pretend to be a chicken and... But some people are more susceptible to being hypnotised oh, than the people, totally. aren't they? When we did the, when we did the uh, regressions on this morning, some of the experts came in to be regressed and they were like, oh, I'll tell you, Christine and Neil Hamilton sat there the, and, and then Andrea did the thing, you are going, your eyes are feeling heavy, all that sort of thing. And they were like, no, no, they're not. No, and they couldn't do it. Yeah. I was like, I, she went, your eyes, and I was like, <laughs> I was out like that <laughs> within seconds. What, cat? Nickel haberdashery bundle, there's only two left. They're the silver coloured ones, there's only two of those left. Very busy, very, very busy. Check out if it's in your basket, because not, you're not all going to get them. Simple. £8.49, you get Two big swivels, one small, the D big D rings, the little D rings. Oh, they've gone, they're sold out. So if we can turn that round, you can see we've got the outer of our bag. 
It's very pretty, this. Uh, the what? Very pretty, this colourway. There we go. Uh, and then we've got our little tabs. So there's two thin ones there for the middle. Um, where's the one? I had got one that I'd not done. And two fatter ones, which are for your sides. Uh -huh. And we're just going to pop those together by, if you press, press your edges in, and then fold in half and top stitch, uh -huh. you'll get nice, nice, neat little tabs, like so. So let me see, what do we need? The little, that one. So you need to just machine tack these in place on the outside of the bag. So oh yeah, don't forget to put the actual um, swivel clasp yes. on. Yes, so you, you put this. your clasp or your D-ring on, fold it in half, and then you're going to machine tack those in place. Uh -huh. Got a D-ring. I can get into them, that's it. You get all, and if you bought the bundles, all this uh, furniture hardware does come in the bundle. So you don't need to buy extra on. The only thing you need to buy extra from the bundle is a strap, actually. So whichever strap you want. They're quite hard to open, aren't they? Yeah. There it is. Go from the bottom. Right. And they, these go on the side. Okay. So halfway on your side here. The instruction on their own, very popular, £14.99. I'll just quickly put that together down one side. Lo says the higher the intelligence, the easier it is to be hypnotised. Oh. And Claire says, has Lowe hypnotised you, John? No, she has not. Well, if she has, I don't know about it. You see, I managed to get the little tabs out of the patterned fabric as well. Yeah. So, just pop them. So they've just got a, you know, just a, a tack to hold them in place because obviously when you bag the whole thing out, they'll all get sewn in more firmly again. bit uh -huh. so right side of the bag into the right side of the lining yeah and making sure that making sure everything's folded down all yeah. your hardware's folded down inside these side bits should line up hopefully and you're going to pin and sew all the way around the top there uh -huh. we're going to get it done how many minutes have we got please on the show or on demonstration Oh, you've got ages. You've got oh, have you've I? Got five minutes. Yet. Oh, well, I won't. It's very difficult when the clock's not working, but it's still moving. You're like, I don't know what it's like, so you're fine. You, you guess. You can't tell, can no. you? There's nothing. We need a new clock, Paul. Basically, it sets off on the hour at the right time, and then sometimes it gets 20 past and just stops. Other times it goes slower and slower. So, like now, it says it's quarter to. Well, perhaps it needs just a new battery, maybe. Hmm? Maybe it just needs a battery, a new battery. Yeah, well, I think since, since someone knocked it off and broke the glass on it. Ah. Oh. So, you can see it fits together nicely all the way around. Uh-huh. Okay, let's just slide that off. And I always tend to start on the side. I don't know why I do. I think it's because if you don't quite join it up, it's on the side. Yeah, yeah. And not so noticeable. Just, can you just push the bag? That's it, That's brilliant. That's it. Thank can you. you see better? Just, yeah, make sure you get it right round so you're not 
And you're doing it all without a walk, walking foot, so you didn't need a walking foot. No, it's not too bulky. Yeah. We've only got wadding on one side. Yeah. If you wanted to add more wadding, you could do. Yeah. I only use a walking foot in a very extreme circumstances. Uh-huh. <laughs> Mess from Wendy. Hi, John. My 70th birthday has been and gone and still waiting. Oh, I know. We don't know where they are. They're stuck on a ship somewhere. Waiting for the 680 to come in as my children are giving me half the money for it. So luck for it. So lucky. Oh, you're so lucky that they've paid for half it. You are indeed. Um, oh, it'll be here soon. I, we, Jane rings them every single day. Every day to find out where it is. There's a lot of things stuck on ships, yeah. aren't there? Yeah, yeah. lots. Yeah. So put it all through. You'd obviously stitch that hole up. I'm going to push it in to show you that. It's funny, isn't it? Because when you see, when, when in the morning when we come in and we see the bundles, I thought, oh, I don't know if this one's going to work very well. But actually, it looks it's, lovely it's really nice, when it's all isn't together. It's it? really it? nice, yeah. Yeah, I like it. I think it's really pretty. Uh, and then with your straps, obviously, you just stitch the end of your straps in like that yeah now i was a bit worried and thought you might not manage it because it's pu but i did manage to on the demo one to do it on my home machine okay i yeah, didn't yeah, change yeah. anything so yeah. yeah so like that i'm just going to press around that top to make it look lovely lovely uh, uh, uh cat would go with the burgundy one with that she says what color have you got there you they, the uh the caramel that's the burgundy yeah, one. Yeah, that's though. nice, isn't it? Yeah, I always go shade. Oh, it is nice. Yeah, well done, Kat. Right, OK, thank you very much. Now, you're not going to be back on Toad Street today, but you are going to be back on Yarn Lane later, aren't you? I will, yes. Yes, <laughs> doing crochet. Yeah, I'm so going to I'm gonna put my trainers on and run down the road now. Yeah, yeah, if you're there ready for it, you can dress the set for us and everything. would be very <laughs> grateful. Set up for us, we'd be very grateful. Right, oh, you've got to take the blankets with you on the floor down there. Right, OK, uh, recap, recap, recap. What's we going to do first? Pattern on its own. Very popular, fourteen ninety nine. Now you get everything you need in there, all the pattern pieces, the instructions of how to do the weird bit at the beginning. What do you call it? The, the crazy, patch crazy patchwork. Not weird. I don't know why I said weird. It's written there, isn't it? Big letters. No, I meant the I meant the cutting of the five. Yeah. The thing. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. All in there. All in there. So that's the pattern on its own, fourteen ninety nine. Got some bundles for you. Which one would you like first? Most popular is, oh, Riley Blake Blue. Riley Blake Blue. This is the most popular one. There are only six left of these now. So you get the pattern, you get the beige fabric a metre and a half, you get the fat quarter, fat quarter, fat quarter, which are all Riley Blakes. The fat quarter of that, which is Rose and Hubble, that matches that. You get your two big swivels, you get your small swivel, they're all in bronze, and you get your D-rings and your D-rings in the bright gold. All of that for £39.99. What's supposed to be 44 and it fit, finishes up like that. Well, actually, actually, I'm saying it finishes up like that. It won't. It won't because you'll do it in your, it, it'll be the same colour way, but it'll look completely different because everyone's going to do it differently, aren't they? So that's one bundle. Oh, and in that one, we put the navy strapping. In the navy, as Paul loves to sing. There's only four of these blue straps left, just so you know. Just do a close-up of it. Now, remember, it comes as a metre piece, right? It comes as a metre piece, this. If you buy multiples, they're already cut. The top stitching down the edge is already done. You don't need to worry about that. OK? Now, the next bundle is this one that Catherine's been working with. Oh, i put that in shot. There you go. So, you get the pattern. You get a metre and a half the misty blue. You get the three... Um, Poppy cotton fat quarters plus the misty blue. I know if you're sitting there and thinking, why is he talk calling it misty blue? This fabric is called misty blue, just so you know. So you get the fat quarters, uh, four of those, plus you get all of the um, 
hardware, £39.99, £39.99. And, and that's one you just saw being demonstrated. Then we've got the bright colourway. Oh, hang on, that has to go there. The bright colourway, which is this. You get the metre and a half of the lemon. And it's a splodge. It's not a solid fabric. That's the splodge fabric, blender mixer fabric. The path, the instructions, the lemon, metre and a half. Then you get your fat quarters, metre and a half. Uh, sorry, metre and a half, fat quarter, fat quarter, fat quarter, fat quarter. Beautiful colours there. Plus all of your um, haberdashery uh, hardware. Plus the one that's on the floor. I'll take the one from that one there. There you go. Flowers in the wind. $39.99. Now, I do have the fat quarter bundles on their own. So let's show do brights because it's here. Here's the brights one first. This one has been the most popular of the fat quarter bundles. They're already cut. So if you want two, you'll get two of those, two of those, two of those, two. They're already cut into fat quarters. Lovely. Then I've got the uh, poppy ones. So you get three of the poppy, one of the uh, misty blue from your um, Rose and Hubble. Lovely. We, don't, we have no idea why that one's 9 99 Take advantage. Then I've got, last but not least, I've got this one. Riley Blake, oops, there you go. So those three are Riley Blake, that one there is a Rose and Hubble. Four fat quarters for $12.98. Right, if you want the um, hardware on its own, we've only got this one now, which is the um, gold and bronze mix one, the, the, the silver coloured one, the nickel one is sold out. Okay. Oh, and the other strap, so the other strap, so that one's sold out. Oh, the, the burgundy one's coming over now. There's the burgundy one. Now, it's a metre, it's already cut to a metre. If you want more than that, well, no, you, you can buy two, but they'll both be joined together. They're already cut into metre pieces. Okay, it's all faux leather, don't worry, it is, it is faux. Now, I've got chocolate or caramel, caramel or chocolate. Chocolate first. Now oh, they're all singing sweet like chocolate now in the gallery. Two ninety nine. Limited on chocolate. Only six left. And then last but not least, the caramel. Paul doesn't like caramel, as in not this colour. Two ninety nine. I don't know what they're talking about in there. At two ninety nine. Right, don't go anywhere. I've got brand new fabrics coming up after the break. They are beautiful. Three brand new collections, and then the hour after that, Catherine's back on Yarn Lane. We will see you in three from now. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. and I'm really excited to be a guest designer on Sewing Street. Okay, I got into sewing through my grandma. I used to sit and watch her. Um, she was a dressmaker and I started off making toys and then I was dressmaking myself and from then I've done homeware and children's wear and all sorts of different things in between. Um, I would say my top tip is to be kind to yourself. 
it's only fabric at the end of the day and if things do go wrong then you've always got your quick on pick. My claim to fame is that in 2012 I was a VIP driver with the Olympics and I met some really interesting people who were very nice and I'm hoping that I'll meet some very interesting and nice people on Sewing Street too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break, uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well and then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Got some gorgeous fabrics now for you. I'm going to show you all three before I start. So this is the first one I'm going to be doing here. Beautiful. It's not lovely. That's very Tanya Whelan-esque, isn't it, that one? Then I've got these ones. Now this is called Candy Shop. And this one is called Wine Night. Now we're thinking they're related because they're like honesty leaves and they're like honesty leaves, aren't they? So we're thinking it might be uh, related. But anyway, let's start with these because these are beautiful. Mega bundle, mega bundle. Half a metre for free. This is... Oh, which one? Right, so this one here is not available on its own. So if you love this one, the only way you can get this one is by buying the Mega Bundle. Beautiful, isn't it? But the only way you can get that one is in the bundle. Isn't that lovely? That is stunning. Right, let's go back to the bundle, sorry. 
So you get half a metre for free. Half a metre for free you get in here. Now, those two, you see, those two are very, look, I think you've got two the same there. It's cream background, dark green background, roses, daisies. That one I've got available in the red, and then that one's lovely, isn't it? It's very luscious, isn't it? So you get brand spanking new in today. You get five and a half metres of fabric, but you only pay for five. Ten. No. Sorry, thank you. It's all right. You only pay for five of them. You, you get five, anyway, you get five and a half metres, you only pay for five. That's exactly what I said. That's what I meant. Why is Paul laughing? Well, you, you seen quilts, are you? I'm seeing dressmaking. So, and Paul was thinking little Paul's shirt. Right, okay, so I, I can do these on their own, but I can't do that one on its own. So where would you like to go first then, Kat? The red version of that one. What are you eating? Oh, this is amazing. Look at that. Let me pull it across a little bit. There you go. There you go. So these are for, by Figo Fabrics. I've not heard of them before. True Kisses by Heather Bailey, I think her name is. Hang on. Heather Bailey. Oh, look at that. The, it's amazing to have that lovely pink there. What are we opening now? Oh, did you bring sausage rolls in a Tupperware box? Are they homemade sausage rolls? Ah, oh, isn't that beautiful? And then I love the way they've created the flowers from those like curled up petals and things. It, it reminds me of, um, oh, you think Riley Blake? I was going to say, who, what was the lady, lady's name I said at the beginning? Um, oh, it'll come back to me in a minute. 749 half metre now, designer fabrics. If you look at fabric shops at the moment, all their prices are going up. Tanya Whelan, that's it, who it reminds me of. Tanya Whelan designs. Beautiful, aren't they? Seven or four now, this is where you buy, if you buy the Mega Bundle, you only get half a metre of each, right? I say only, you get half a metre of each already cut. This way, if you're thinking, I'd love a skirt made out of that, you can buy as much as you want, three metres, six metres, however much you want of it. Or if it's going to go in a quilt, you can buy as much as you want to cut off the bolt for you. True kisses, floral kisses in lipstick. Right, so, okay, right, okay, so let's now go to the big signature floral one then. So that's this one here, and that comes in green and it comes in lemon. No. Different, hold it differently, sorry. Oh, well, okay. Start with the green background. Oh, now that, you see, I'm seeing dining room curtains. Not that my dining, oh yes, my dining room does need new curtains, but it's a, it's a whole French window, so it'd be a lot of fabric to make those. I've still got the curtains that I bought from the lady who sold me the house in the first place, and I've lived there ten, no, nearly 10 years. I've never lived in a house that long before. Can't believe, how, how has 10 years passed that quickly? Cat seeing a big circular skirt. Paul seeing cushions. Beautiful, rich, bold colours. Now, have I got it upside down? No, those flowers the right way up, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, but they're facing up on that one now. Anyway, it's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, cat's moving on already. I'm not moving on yet. And so look, reminds me of vintage bark cloth curtains. Gorgeous, that's exactly what I was thinking. My mum had those in the dining room, you think. Which one do you want to do? Lemon now. Oh, they've called it sand. What colour, what sand is that colour exactly, Paul? No, Brighton has pebbles. 
Move it across through there. There you go. It's 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. That would make the most exquisite uh, dress, day dress, wouldn't it? Beautiful day dress, like a Kirsty Allsop kind of dress. And you'd cut it so that, they, you know, you, you'd fussy cut the panel so you got exactly the right... Well, I was going to say you'd get that right there, but you don't know if you want flowers just there and there, do you? But Oh, please be careful if you buy the Mega Bundle. We have to make more Mega Bundles now than ever before because it's the Mega Bundle so popular. Almost half have gone. Almost half have gone already. Right, with the red background. Now, now, this is saying kimono to me, this one. Kimo, yes, says Paul. Not kimo, no. See, a lovely kimono. Sunday morning kimono, I'm thinking. Sun's coming through into the, from the garden. You... Oh, Kat's going to do the cushions on her sun lounger on her balcony doing this. Oh no. Each to their own, I suppose. I don't think it's strong enough for a deck chair cover, Paul. You need it to be a bit more twill or drill for a deck chair cover. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> There you go, look at these are nice, aren't they? The goldy one first. What was wrong with your floorboards then? Ditsy floral on gold, this one's called. Seven forty nine half meter. Remember, you can have as much as you want. Uh, Margaret says hi, John. Fabulous fabrics there. Loving the shirt. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, in our, Paul was asking earlier what these shirts are. Well, that one there is an upside down finch, but they've all got straw. They've all got hats on. Look, because I think this one here is like um, a kestrel on my arm. There, look, that one's a kestrel or something, isn't it? Where's he going with his camera? There you go. I think that's a kestrel, isn't it? With a, with a straw hat on. But then you see on this arm here, there's like a little goldfinch there. They're upside down. I don't know why they're upside down, but there you go. There's a goldfinch there with a the hat on. Yeah, strange, isn't it? Anyway, this is beautiful, this fabric. True kisses, ditzy floral on gold. Hmm? I need to tell you that the, uh, please be careful on the Mega Bundle, because the Mega Bundle's flying out. Right, then this one here on the, oh, this is nice. Let me know what you'd make out of these. The red, really striking on that one, isn't it? Ditsy floral on red. This, well, it's not on red, is it? Because it's on cream, but. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it is. A bit like pop art cat saying. Not Popeye, Paul. Pop art. Lovely. Right, now I'm going to do the very Tanya Whelan-esque pattern, this one here. These are lovely. Well, I think they look nice together as well. Aqua first. Oh, are you, Paul? You, now, you know who'd make an apron out of this, Paul? Remember we used to work with Dairy Lee? And she did, like, 1940s-esque frilly aprons and sold them in Harrods. That I think, yeah, I think this is what she would, she'd definitely use these. She's now a lifestyle guru doing nice smells and aromatherapy and all that sort of stuff, yoga. Very, very, well, is it, is it, uh, oh, I don't know if it's High street, you know the high street design where they do little flowers on tea towels and things and bags and things. I like this better than that because this is bigger flowers, isn't it? Again, look at the detail on those roses. My rose garden's looking rather fabulous. They've just come out now. Uh, this one calls Rose Bunch. Pfft. Rose Bunch on green. Romantic. 
Give you a bunch of fives, Paul, if you're not careful. Oh, now, apparently, didn't um, uh, Martin Lewis, you know, the money-saving expert, didn't Alan Sugar tell him he's going to box his ears or something? Yeah, yeah. Well, he's, uh, um, Martin's now presenting on Good Morning Britain, isn't he? Or tell him. Not anymore, he's finished now. Oh, this is nice. I love this colour. Paul seeing a maxi dress. Sheila, my model at Pavers, she always wears maxi dresses. She'd love this. So is that again? Bunches, rose bunches on lime, this one. Not munch. Not our little munch. Is he not working today then? Munch has been doing full days. Like double shifts and everything. Not here, he works at our sister channel, Jewelry Maker. But you'll know him. You'll know him because he's he's got his own, it's called now, what's he what's his Liam something producer page? And he puts all I've switched it off because I got fed up of Oh, are you? I've switched, I've switched that one off because I got sick of all the adverts. Oh, no, no, I've seen that one. That was the night before. That was one from the night before. We've now jumped onto Love Island. I'm sorry, damn my earpiece, just so you know. If you've been watching Love Island at home, I've, been, I've caught up now. I've, I, I binge watched it. Well, I didn't have to binge watch it. Only three episodes, but I've watched it now. Beautiful. Uh, because they turn away, turn away, turn away. If you um, turn away if you've not seen it yet. Turn away if you don't care. But Paul doesn't care. Um, uh, anyway, so one of the a new girl came in who was very nice with, and she had to pick one of the boys. She had twenty four hours. She had to pick one of the boys. So she picked the boy, and the girl that he was already coupled up with got a text immediately going, "You please leave the house. You have been dumped," and she went. Right now, the people, the the girl, they didn't know that's what was going to happen to that girl. Uh, and the people's family at home are now getting all these horrible messages going, your daughter's ruined the show. And she didn't know it was going to happen. But I think, because they didn't interview her as she went out, I think she's in another villa somewhere else. And in a week's time, they'll go to the other villa and she'll be there with her, all her boys and things there. Sorry, what's the matter? Oh, sorry, Glennis. Don't watch it. Don't listen. Glennis. Glennis, I've finished now. I've finished talking about it now. Green first. Yeah, not from this series. Yeah. The th oh, now if you like this in your 44 inch wide, we've also got it in extra wide backing. Same size, not bigger, but the same size print, but, for, but the extra wide backing. That's beautiful, isn't it? True Chris's dream floral on green. And then I've got it on now. It looks like a red, but it looks like an orangey red, like a flame. Oh, this lipstick. No, this isn't lipstick, though. Lipstick was that first one, wasn't it? I, that's exactly, hot tomato is exactly, that's lipstick. You see this. Hot tomato, we'd call this one. Exactly. Oh, and I've got this in XY backing, but in a lemon, which will be nice. I'll do those next. Oh, now, before we go on to those, I've got to talk about the Mega Bundle. Oh, right, more than half of them have gone now. More than half gone. We've, well, it's a Mega Bundle. Now, remember, one fabric, this fabric here, you can only get that one in the Mega Bundle at the moment. You've seen everything we've got, says Kat. That's it, there you go. There's your mega bundle. So if you want all of that for 74.90, get half a meter for free. Well, you say you get that one for free because it's not available anywhere else. 74 pounds and 90 pence. Beautiful. Oh, now Kat's thinking kitchen makes. 
Oh, do you know what? The book we had in the 8 o'clock... Oh, I don't know why I'm looking down there. It's not there. The book we had in the 8 o'clock hour, the brand new book, there was only 8 99 That should have been 18 99 No, it was only 9 99 should have been 18 99 That had so many makes you could use this for, couldn't you, for around the house? Definitely, definitely. Right. Oh, hang on. Message. Just ordered the Mega Bundle. Going to make a panel skirt using each one. I need 12, but forgot to count them. I love Anne. No, Anne, you know which skirt you should do? You should do Catherine's fat quarter skirt. And it's because it's reversible. Now, and the extra wide backing. This is brilliant, right? Because if you want to make a big circular skirt, this is the best way to do it. Which colour first? Green one first. So this is, I'll just check the width. I think it'll be 108 inches wide. Graphics have been very slow today. It's not cat, not pressing the right button or anything. Well, I can tell you now, because look, that's, that's about 60. Oh, hang on. It might be even wider than that. Hang on, let me just get my tape measure. Right, so it's twice... 53 and a half, it's 107, 107 inches wide. Oh, where did I get that from? Well, the, what they'll do is they'll call it 108 because they'll count in the selvage, that's why. But how beautiful, what, imagine a duvet cover. Imagine sheets or pillowcases. Maybe it's a bit bold for, for your bedding. Bald's very bald. Bold, bold, like a... What's, is it a lion bold or is it an eagle bold? No, eagles are bold. You're bold. Yeah. Oh, you are bold, Paul. Message from Carolyn. Morning, John. What refreshing fabric. Oh, tis, what a lovely word. Refreshing. Yeah. Catching up whilst hands finishing a waistband on a pair of trousers. Oh, Carolyn. Lovely. That means you must be nearly finished then. Right. This one, I think, would look lovely in a bedroom. What's the matter, Cat's way? Refreshing is the perfect word for this. Don't read what? Oh, okay. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. It's good value. It is Glenis. Very good value. Now, so how much is this then? Twelve ninety-nine half a meter. Remember, it's one hundred and eight. Well, I'm going to say one hundred and seven inches wide. That's just imagine falling asleep under that. Right here, you go. Oh, sorry. No, that's the table. It's me in bed. Paul. Yeah. Now, I don't sleep. I'll sleep like a board. I know we had, um, what was that lovely boy we had in Ben in? And uh, just so you know, on the, in, mo in every TV studio, you have your preview on one side and your live on the other. Here, we have them back to front. So when Ben was in, he kept, I kept saying, could we see that, Ben? He went, yeah, you are seeing it. I was like, no, it's that one. Yeah, anyway, little Paul just had a moment. Right, yeah, okay, so we didn't have this one in the collection and here. So maybe buy half a metre, if you bought the Mega Bundle, buy half a metre of that to go with. Or if you're going to make a quilt out of your Mega Bundle, have that. I think you need to get a solid to go in there as well. Would you go lemon? I'd go, oh no, I'd go lemon, oh, oh, do you know what would look nice? The lemon blotchy one we had in the last hour, that'd be nice in there. Yeah. 107 inches wide, extra wide backing. Now, they call it backing fabric, it's just exactly the same quality. So don't be thinking, oh, it's backing, it's not as good quality as this. It is, it is, it is, it is. Beautiful. Well, Paul, look. Paul's tired. He could, yeah, yeah. But look, you, that'd be big enough for your bed, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, but you could fit underneath it. Still, he's still, he's still sleeping in the spare room. Not because he's had a row with anyone, he's, unless he's had a row with himself. But he's in the spare room because he's having new... Yeah. He's having... Uh, he's having new new carpets put in. No, I tell you what, I've got um, 
I need my new front door and back door fitting. I've been on my second person now. Still nobody wants to come and do it. Right, which one do you want to do? Oh, yes, this is lovely. I launched this book here. There are nine colourful designs to brighten your home. $8.99. That's because that's not what he really does. Look at these. These are beautiful. Magnolia Lane. Stunning, isn't it? Then you've got your sunflower meadow. I'll put it into shot for you. There you go. Then you've got your framed flowers. See, some of this would look, look nice in there, wouldn't it? Those, because they're big blocks, aren't they? So you get nice big bits. Of, cause I, oh, no, that one. Look, that would be brilliant. Imagine each of those flower heads being made out of those flowers that we just had there. Uh, this is eight ninety nine. It's not even a pound. Of, oh, nice. Not even a pound a pattern, this one. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it, that one? Oh, here. Have you not been to Holland? I've been to Amsterdam. That's a couple of times. That's the one we did with Wendy Orlando at the beginning when we launched the... Posy in a pot is that one. In a bloom. Matilda's flower room. Anyway, aren't they beautiful, right? Why do you think it's in Holland, Paul? No, it's, it's, it's a windmill. Oh, it was one called Dutch Golden Age. Oh, maybe that's why then. Yeah. Beautiful book. Eight ninety nine. I, I told you, didn't I, Lee? We have Annie's Quilting's books and Annie's uh, Crochet books. that always, always. No, my garden furniture hasn't arrived yet, Ange. Also, we'll do which one? Oh, going on to candy shop. Uh, can I just explain about, about Harvey as well? Have I told you this this morning or not? Oh, talk cat, right. So literally, the other day, Harvey, I've got Dulcie's cat staying with me. The other day, he escaped. I was thinking, oh, I must have left the back door open. That's not like me. He was, he was just, I, I was going around the house, I went, where is he? And he was in next door's garden. So I'm sitting in next door's garden, chatting to my next door neighbour. And John, the next door neighbour, said, um... So it does Harvey like a gingery tabby colour with a yellow collar? I was like, yeah, have you been in the house to see him? He went, no, he's not. What, how he gets that? I, I had all the downstairs windows shut, but all the upstairs windows were open. I was thinking, it's safe upstairs, isn't it? He jumped out of my back bedroom window onto the roof of my garage. Now, it's not attached to the house. It's got a whole pathway that goes through to the back garden. So he leapt from a little window in the back bedroom right the way onto... And then he shimmies down the side of the garage, which is a proper height size like as and uh, God, that's how he's getting out anyway we caught him we got him back in again and everything and then he went straight back up to the same window again because at home in Dulcie's house he's allowed to go out he's got a cat flap of course in mine he hasn't right and um, which one doing this one beautiful yeah this is candy ye oldie candy shoppy look how it's spelt candy shoppy fabric Oh, you got half a metre for free. Now, we think these are related. We think these are related. You don't have to have all of them, right? But we think, because that, look at that print there, and then look at that print there. It's the same print, isn't it? Maybe they've just, they've just had designers who've, different designers who've, oh, no, look, look, no, no, look, look. It's got to be. It's got to be. It's got to be. Two, they're called two different things. This is ye oldie candy shoppy, this one. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Five and a half metres, and you get half a metre for free. These are lovely. They're, they look like batiks, but they're not batiks. Oh, he says that. Let me just double check. Oh, yes, they are. Oh! Now, I thought they were like Dan Morris. I thought they were Prince... Oh, not Dan Morris. Um, Jason Yenta, where he get, takes a batik and makes it look like a non-batik. These are batiks. They're from Stoff Fabrics, these. Now, I need to tell you something before you buy these. And they're beautiful quality, but they're not a heavyweight fabric. These are like a poplin or a lawn, these. They are not a heavy quilting weight fabric. They're called Barley Handprints. 
by Hoffman. That's where they're from. Oh, so you will have seen them cut into some of the strips, maybe in Denim and Grace or in one of those. You might have seen some of these. Anyway, I don't know why I'm showing you just that one. So if you've got barley hops, barley pops, these are the same as those. There we go. So oh, this is a mega bundle. You get all of those. A lot, isn't it? Hang on, £69.90 for five and a half metres of fabric. Does it? Right, well, I've just had that conversation with you, haven't I, about how fabrics are going up, everything's going up, don't expect... I'm going to do these by the half metre. I'll do that one, by the half metre. Are you all right with pictures or do you want me to do numbers? Okay. This one that I've just been showing you, look at the price. Six ninety nine for a beautiful batik, all hand done in barley. You love the barley pops, hey barley, barley, barley pop. It is un what? Um, barley leaf ball. That doesn't work, Paul. Maybe it's just my delivery wasn't very good. Yeah. Candy shoppy in the purple stems. Aren't they lovely? You see, okay, so, um, uh, Cat sees fish swimming around in this, not stems. Oh, the, the wake behind them, you mean. What do you call it? Because our friend Munch goes water skiing. So what's he called? The bit of water behind you. Eh? This one, it's red, yeah. Unless my eyes are deceiving me, I'd call that red myself. Oh, lovely print though, isn't it? Oh, they've called it pink. Hmm, okay. The background is definitely red. And then that's just the blurring out of the red to make the pink, I suppose. Well, how many layers has that taken? How many layers have they taken to get that, those colourways? Because the, the, the dye here, in that middle bit there, is only dipped in once, for like for seconds, but to get the background that colour, it would have been in for quite a while. Beautiful. 6 99 for half a metre, remember. They're barley, hand-printed batiks by Hoffman. Oh, this is nice. Well, now, is, is it upside down? Or is, hang on, let me see. That's, well. You see, that's fine if they're flowers, but if we're going with the underwater theme, I think they go the other way. But lovely magentas and pinks in there. Now, on my telly, on my iPad, it's looking a lot brighter than it is in real life. It's a muted, it's a muted tone. It's not the, if you're watching on the iPad, right? On the iPad, it looks like it's bright fuchsia pink. It's not, it's a deeper magenta. Just so you know. It's beautiful though, isn't it? Okay. Oh, this is nice. Now, it's the same print as the last one. But look at the, with the blotchy background, multi-daisies, they've called this one. The blues, they're like electric blue, aren't they, on the top there? Oh, somebody's got the coffee machine on upstairs, Cat. That lovely, it's very dramatic, that one, isn't it? Stormy skies, I'm seeing. Now, I'm going to pebbles. Oh, now, I said it was pebbles, right? Then I opened it. It looks more like lizard skin now. Look. We just called it aqua hoop. Hoop. Like spaghetti hoops. I haven't had those for years. Raindrops on roses, whiskers on kittens, 
bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens. See, you're not getting any more. Okay, the Mega Bundle, more than half have gone. Well, way more than half have gone. We've only got, well, how many have we got left? 18. 18 left, that's it, of the Mega Bundle. We have to make so many more Mega Bundles these days now because you love them so much. Okay. Now the next one is like a geode swirly, vortexy. Will you have a look? Oh no, ice on windows now. Ice on the inside of bedroom windows. What's she singing? Blue Sea, they've called this one. Blue Sea. Incredible, the movement and the fluidity of that one is incredible, isn't it? You can tell it's been hand dyed, can't you? Hmm? She's wittering away in there. How are you coping, Paul? Right, now this one. Oh, the next two are glorious, right? Love this one. Look! That's got such depth to it, hasn't it? Autumn night, Paul can see. I'm seeing seaweed on a summer's day. We've just got oh, blue autumn leaves, they've called this one. Uh, if you, uh, I, I wouldn't make a man shirt out of it. A lady's blouse might work with a pussy bow or something like that. No, 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 it's not, it's not got enough structure. It would be very blues on It's not viscose, it's 100% cotton. 44 inches wide, machine washable. Shirting weight, that's exactly what I'd call it, shirting weight. Yeah, no, this is blouse weight, definitely. Yeah, we've got shirt, shirting weight tomorrow with Mark. We've got some lovely new shirting weights tomorrow with Mark. You'll be watching anyway, Paul, won't you? Mega bundle, still available. You might want to see all the fabrics before you check out. You say, oh, look at this one. That's nice, isn't it? Are they pampas grass? Tropical leaf? Oh no, spelt, look how they spelt leaf. Or is it meant to be leaves? Not, not. They do look like shells. Are they? What do barley cop call them? Oh, I thought you, I thought you were on the, She sells seashells on the seashore. <laughs> I like it that way up better. You've been having a lot of conversation with this young lady, Paul. What the one that you're quoting today? Oh, this one's pretty. Look at the colours in here. Yes, kaleidoscope multi on purple. Oh, firework. Firework. The, the, none of the none of the names are all in the theme, are they? This in this one. I'd say it was kaleidoscope. Beautiful and batik quilts are very very on trend at the moment. Six ninety nine half a meter. Remember, you can buy as much as you like. That's lovely, because it'll all be different where the paint spatters are, because I've just painted like that. What's the matter? I can't hear you, can't. Are you slumping in your chair? I can tell, can't, because the further she gets away from the microphone, I can't hear her, you see, and I've got them on full blast. Oh, that's nice. That's lovely. You, Damask. Hey, what is it called? Purple Royal. 
Doesn't even make sense, does it, Purple Royal? <laughs> I love the splodges of colour behind them. Is it Ryan who does the naming of the fabrics these days? D Dan, he's been left about two years, hasn't he? I haven't been here two years. I've been October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. I've been here nine months. Oof. Nine months I'll never get back, eh? Oh, this is pretty as well. Oh, now it's a spot, but it's got scrunchies in the background. Not one to put in your hair cap, but scr where they've scrunched the fabric. Look, look, now it's not creased. It is like the night sky, but in real life, you're missing, on the telly, you're missing so much of it. Because it looks like somebody's gone like that with the fabric. I just did it, but that's what it looks like. When you iron it, it will still keep all those creases in. You can't see them on the telly there. No, no, really, Paul. It's so much more dramatic in real life. Oh, look, 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 Paul. Can you see now? Oh, there you go. You can see them there, look. Beautiful. Yeah. You're coming back to produce me, aren't you? What, at the same time? Wine. What? That was Candy Shoppy, the oldie Candy Shoppy. This is Wine Night now. Same range, look. You've seen that pattern. You've seen that pattern. You've seen that pattern. And that pattern. And that pattern. Uh, oh no, we haven't seen that pattern. That's the only new one in this range. Oh now, this is a lovely bundle. Three and a half metres. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three and a half metres you get here for 47.99. Yeah, definitely mix and match from the other co the other co collection. Look, oh, I've thrown them there. I've thrown them in a pile here now. But look, they definitely work. Right, so that's the mega. Now be careful with the mega bundles. Very popular the mega bundles. Right, so this one here is what cat could see fish swimming. I think I wonder if they called it the same. No. Okay, so what was it called in the other colour? Leaves. Stems. It's now called purple vine because it's changed colour. Don't stick up for them, cat. Wine night in the purple. Fine. Look, 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 look. Now, we didn't have this in the other white colourway, did we? Purple petals. Oh, no. Look at those little petals. You see, it doesn't help that I train to be an English teacher, does it really? That what? Can you, can you, now, before we say anything, can you just Google petal spelt that way for me? Don't you don't have to do it at home, I'm asking Kat to do it. So you're just going to get, in case it means little array of pet flowers or something like that. Oh, okay, forget that, it's not caressing anyone, is it really? No, that's a spelling mistake. Oh, but it is beautiful, isn't it? Can we pull out on it, Paul? Thank you. Yeah. Purple pebble petals. Right, now we've got the spotty one that we had earlier in the blue. Got it in now, got it in. Well, what colour have they called this one? Pardon? Okay, Paul. You'll definitely get this one 
even though it's not fuchsia, it's more of a burgundy. Which I imagine Paul to jump in with because it's his favourite colour. It's definitely not fuchsia. It's like a fuchsia that you've deadheaded and thrown it on the floor. A bit of claret in there. I mean, it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It's lovely. I'm just talking about how it's, you know, what it's, how it's described. Lovely. Lovely. What time is it? Oh, cracky. Oh, now my, what time is it really? Oh, my clock's gone faster now. Right, this is incredible, this one. Look. This is the one we had in pink. It's very moody, this one. We had, yeah, remember this one you said, it's pink, and I went, no, it's red. Look, 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 look. It's that same print. Doesn't it look different, right? This, the graphics are in for the... Right, okay, that, that's not the fuchsia one. That's the fuchsia one. And if Paul was here, he'd say, buy it today, get it in the fuchsia. Wide night in future rose. That is very dramatic. That's almost gothic, that one, isn't it? Very dramatic. Yeah, Jan says, apparently petal is to kiss, caress or cuddle, ideal for a quilt. Yes or no, but it's not. They were petals, weren't they, from flowers? That's incredible, isn't it? I think that might be quite nice on the border of a batik quilt. It's Margaret, we've disturbed her work. Is that why John is a little petal? Oi! You get on with your work, Margaret in Hecklund and White. I'll be ringing your bosses. She's even moved her computer around so she doesn't get a quick neck while she's watching and doing her work. That's beautiful. Moving on. Moving on. Moving. Oh, this next one's nice as well. Now, we had this one earlier with more colour in it. This is very purple. What's it called? Pur purple Floral Field. That's not what the last one was called, was it? Chance. <laughs> yeah, she won't go on with her work. Oh, she could be on a lunch. Oh, no, it's a bit early for lunch. Mind you, when I used to work at Browns of Chester, first lunch break was half 11. Well, I do, but then you have to, you're, half 11 to half past 12, you've then got, you're then in the shop, you, get, you used to get a tea break in the afternoon, but it'd be a long afternoon then. It's best to get you the late lunch, then you only have a couple of hours left after. Beautiful, isn't it? That's so delicious, that one, isn't it? There we go. Just two more in this range to go. Before I'm new, you pull. There you go. Look and look full circle, eh, Paul? Fireworks. Well, how different is it to the one I had before? What colour was the background of the one I had before? Was it blue? Right, that's the one I had before. This one's definitely a black background, isn't it, this one? Why night never say never, Paul? <coughs> Because it came from the top, didn't it? And now, and now look. Sorry, I'm having a conversation with about old days when we used to work on a jewellery channel years ago. Who'd have thought? Cat came in as a little student, feisty student. A oh, two-week well placement, and she's still here. Well, no, it's a different company, obviously. Okay, now last but not least in this one, Wine Night. Oh, oh, this is that rose print again, look. Purple rose, pur oh no, it's purple rain I'm thinking of. Mm. 
Hmm? Half a metre, 699. Have as much or as little as you want by the no. For it, brilliant price, isn't it? Hoffman Barley Pops, these are. Hat. By, by the half metre, not by the jelly roll, design roll, design strip. Whatever they like to call it. It's lovely, isn't it? Right, mega bundle, mega bundle, mega bundle. Here we go, so you get all of these. I'll recap all the mega bundles now for you, because you've now seen everything. So that's that mega bundle. One, two, three, five, seven fabrics there, three and a half meters, 47.99. It's called Wine Night. Well, we're presuming it's called Wine Night. <laughs> now we've got the other mega bundle here of the other Batik fabrics, again made by Hoffman's. Might have to tidy this one up because I've been a bit, what's it with this one? No, you don't, Paul. Why? What time? I plus what? Oh, that's right, say till two then. Quarter past. The okay. Who'd you get that from? Oh, I'm from, uh, yeah, no, but not from management then. 69.90. You are getting half a metre for free. Five and a half metres, you get half a metre for free. Now remember, if you buy multiples of this wet mega bundle, they've already been cut, right? Very, very popular, that one. Right, right the way back to the beginning of this aisle, you loved, loved, loved these fabrics. Now, I can tell you now, Catherine's also bought this bundle. Here you go. So you get the big flower in three different colours in the mega bundle. Dark green, there it is. I love these. Right. Then this fabric here is only available at this moment in time in the Mega Bundle. Then you've got that one. Now this is the one. Yeah, this is the one that we've also got in the... Um, oh, it only comes in two colourways because the third colourway is the extra wide. Then you've got that one, the Ditsy. Then you've got that one there. Beautiful. Mega Bundle getting half a metre for free. Seventy-four pounds and ninety pence. Can you interface the bait? Oh, I fell for the wine now. No, Julie, you could, you can, you could piece them all together in a quilt. But if you try and mix them with something heavier, it might not, might not work so well. But yeah, you can inter put a slight interfacing on the back if you wanted to. Not a problem at all. All these fabrics have been beautiful, aren't they? Gorgeous. Now, I was just talking about Brown's Chester. Julie used to work in Brown's Chester. Yeah. She knew me then when I was a mere whip of a lad. She said, oh, you were this, that, and the other, and you were slim in those days. Okay, I've got, uh, now it's funny, I got a message from Jennifer Taylor yesterday. Oh, if any of you get an Instagram request, from somebody that's called, I can't remember what he said, uh, you shouldn't do because I've reported him to um, Instagram now, but he was using my photos. So he messaged Jennifer Taylor and said, oh, you be my friend. And she thought, this is weird because I'm already friends with John. Then she saw the name and it was something like, I can't remember, but I, I got in touch with um, Instagram and they deleted him straight away. But just in case some of you might have got a friend request from him. 
I haven't sent you a message for months, Paul. Years even. Oh, no, no, tell a lie. We sent you one the other morning, didn't we? But apart from that, I've not sent you any. Oh, hang on. Sorry, I picked the wrong book up. <laughs> I'm talking about Jennifer Taylor. So we'll show that book in a minute. Don't be sure. That, that, but this, right. So I was talking about Jennifer Taylor because it's called Girl with the Sewing Machine. This is her first ever uh, book that she launched at $9.99 from Search Press. Jennifer Taylor. Should be $12.99, just so you know. I thought so. Right. So, I remember Jennifer was on Great British Sewing Bee many, 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 many years ago. She's had two children since then. Got married and got two children. Only been on air once before. And hundreds of these went. Fewer than 20 of these now. Not here, Paul. Yeah, only was launched here. We used to have it on Sewing Quarter. It was only launched here. Very lovely book. Really lovely book. Scarf Top. Jumper Mittens and Snood. That's when she's cut them all down. It's all about recycling and upcycling. Well, a lot of it is about it. Festival Pouch. Now, how many times do we make that when we were at Sewing Quarter? Then you've got your customising clothes, so you've got embroidery, your doily details, your tassel top. Then you've got your shirt reverse, take an old shirt and turn it round. Then you've got making clothes from scratch, taking your measurements. Oh, now, this was, you, did she use her mum's favourite, um, I can't remember what it was, she used something from her mum. Oh, no, I know, she's got a picture of her mum wearing it, hang on. Look, uh, look, 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 she's got a picture of her mum wearing it, and there's Jennifer Taylor as a little girl, and she's used that skirt to recreate that new um, skirt there. Batwing dress. These are all done from measurements, these, so there's no patterns, you don't need any patterns. Where. She used to wear that when she used to come in on sewing quarters, she used to wear that one. Oh, Jan Hill loves this book. I haven't got a message from Carol. Okay, sorry. Good morning all, I have this book as a beginner. It's brilliant, love the shirt, John. Thank you, Carol. Summer top. Blanket coat. Talked about using a walking foot. Then we've got the, um, now what's she called that? Blanket gilet. Dunga dress. So much in here, isn't there? Beautiful. And if you have any trouble, just message her on Facebook and she'll help you out. Right, okay, I've got to go. Oh, I've got to go. Let's have a look at tomorrow's menu. Tomorrow's menu. William Morris Granada. Granada. Fabric at 8 o'clock. Brand new fabrics. And we've got a Nina Lee Carnaby dress. It's not made with the Carnaby fabric from Liberty, just so you know. It's a new dress from uh, Nina Lee with Mark Francis. Then 10 o'clock, I'm not sure, but we're doing some sort of cushion kit to revisit it. 11 o'clock, we've got the Turlo shirt with Mark Francis. You know his Turlo shirt. We've got loads of those back in stock. And then at 12 o'clock tomorrow, we've got Annie Nikoparovic with crochet cushion covers. That's tomorrow. Now, we're finishing Sewing Street for today, but Catherine Wright is going to be with us after the break. You're going to redress this set during this hour, Kat. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, so Catherine's back. We're going to be doing cro crochet shawls. No, throws. Summer throws. Summer throws. All on pre-order, all on Yarn Lane, and they're all beautiful. And there's one for a beginner, one for a medium, uh, medium and one for a, a more advanced. Um, now, if you bought something from me this morning on Sewing Street, it means your P&P is paid for if you come over to Sewing Street, uh, onto Yarn Lane. However, the products from today's show don't appear on Yarn Lane or vice versa. If you've never shopped on Yarn Lane before, your login is exactly the same as it is for Sewing Street. I'll tell you all about that when I see you on the other side of this break with Catherine Wright at Yarn Lane. If I'm not going to see you there, I'll see you tomorrow on Sewing Street at 8 o'clock.